Hel hello, hello, everybody. We are beginning here a bit later than usual because weather. Horrific weather. The worst kind of weather. I just realized I have 111 Pokeballs. Hmm. But yes, we're starting later because, for whatever reason, the weather is evil. Oh, how the weather outside is frightful. And I was waiting on the all clear for a thing that we were supposed to do in the morning. But whether or not it would happen, because, mmm, weather. But finally got the all clear, things are cancelled, so I can enjoy myself. And uh, I did some diddly D off screen. I'm not going to leave this screen, but I guess I can come over here. I got all the wisps. That was a bit of a... That actually wasn't too bad. It was mainly like, once you get down to, there is one. And you're like, hmm, what is the one that I'm missing? Because they're so anomalous. But we can turn that in. And uh, a funny little thing, while I was leveling up Zack and just trying to get his friendship level up so that he would evolve... It would occasionally just go away, like I would understand it if I like, if he fainted during combat or something, but for whatever reason, just at random, just the, the option to evolve him would go away, and it was weird. So I was basically had to do a decent bit of pseudo grinding just to get him up to the point where he would be, oh, he can evolve now, and just freeze the game and wait for uh, an opportunity to stream and since we shouldn't be that far away from doing some things uh, and finishing up this part and then seeing what some of the post game is and just doing a bit of relaxing uh, yeah I figured it doesn't uh, mind too much to start late but let's go ahead and evolve Spyro first since he's the one that's been waiting the longest and was not complaining by being like, fine, I will stop wanting to evolve, like Zack. And now we have a guard chomp. Guard chomp the Spyro. And then, of course, your boy Zack. Took a bit of work. But now he can become. An almighty Lucario. He might not be an Alpha Lucario, but I don't really doesn't really matter to me. Let's see, any new moves for you boys? Don't think so. Huh, Dragon Pulse. That's interesting. If we ever need to beat up a Dragon type. And we know we're going up against a dragon type. We can put that on. But okay, dog. With that, with that, firstly, we're going to go to the base, talk to this person here. That's probably balloon race guy. Oh no, balloon race guy was. Let's see. Sfeel! Oh, he's looking for a Pokemon. Who are you looking for? Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my Sfeel. It's adorable around body cause to go rolling down the... <laughs> that is an amusing sight to behold in my mind. And it's heading straight for the Stone Tooth Rose and Boulder Roll Ravine. Those areas are full of dangerous Pokemon. You're that new Survey Corps recruit everyone's talking about, right? Look into the sky. I was blamed for that. So I'm not really the new Survey Corps recruit. I am the talk of the world. Please help me find my dear Sfeel. Rolling with Sfeel. Roll out the Sfeel. Oh yeah, but while we're here... Oh, okay, yeah. This does look like it's going to go to 20 missions. Yeah. But yeah, I did it. I managed to finish this. The I finally found some Chirim, and it actually didn't take that long. Apparently, Mount Coronet is the best place for Chirim. You just have to wait for the evening form to catch it. And I did that. We can't do that because there's no moon! And then uh, we can go astray in the Icelands. But okie doke, let's look for a Sfeel that went rolling down the way. Yes, yes, plank, plank. Oh. 
Don't care. I'm looking for a spiel. Where is this field? Did it go down to this dead end, I think? Yep. Or maybe. Is it? Or is that a pack? I don't know. That doesn't look like a spiel. Darn it. It's not a spiel. I thought it was, because it was the perfect look of a Graveler locking in a poor Pokemon, but it's not. Destroy this fool. Let's see you use or a spear now, my boy. It isn't a hip thrust, but it'll work. Where the hell is your feel, my dude? You said it rolled down this way. Surely it wouldn't roll all this way. Where the hell is your spiel? Did it wash away down here too? Get adopted by some Clefairy? Okay, very odd. Find Tiki's field, which rolled toward Boulder Roll Ravine. And I could have sworn I'd already checked out all of Boulder Roll Ravine. Maybe it went down that Boulder Roll area. Let's see if it went and rolled all the way down here, too. Probably not, but hey, we're down here anyway. Okay. So we just missed it. That's feel. Really gotta move on. And he's looking this way, so it had to have gone down this way. This feel is decently recognizable. Might as well stop up here. <laughs> Trying to make sure that I'm not missing. Oh, I think that. Is that a spiel? Yep, there's the spiel. I think I mistook that spiel for a clump of the rocks. You know, the air stone, or the jet ball rocks and stuff. So we'll annihilate this Graveler and save the spiel. Or a sphere, Lucario! Hello, spiel. Were you running away from home? Damn it. We're not even gonna try and stop it. Why? I think it's less, oh no, my spiel rolled away, and more like the spiel wants to leave. What is wrong with the spiel? It stops and waits for me to get nearby, just so it can roll away. Does it think it's a Graveler? Luckily it rolled by the Golem without worry. Quit running away, please. Spin! Feel if you really wanted to go down there, you could have just asked me. I would have punted you like a football all the way there. Maybe it just wanted water.
Okay, it's just can rolling and rolling. Oh my goodness, Feel, I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. What is wrong with your Sphiel, my dude? You escorted Sphiel all this way, right? Thank you so much. Please, meet me back at the summit camp. I'll take you properly there. So that it can go rolling away again. That seems like the most likely event. Because it's like it was purposefully waiting for me. It rolled by an alpha. Hmm. I wonder if these alpha Pokemon are like bastardized Gigantamax Pokemon. Because, I mean, Gigantamax is a thing, and these alpha Pokemon are pretty big, so I, I could see it. Flying uphill is very poor. Let me guess, your Sphiel's gonna go rolling downhill even more, my dude. Thanks to you, I was able to find Sphiel, and it's without a scratch, too. Here, this is for you and everything you've done. Escorting a ball downhill. <laughs> You're going to be more careful from now on, won't you, Sphiel? I knew this would happen. Ah, uh, wait, where did Sphiel go? Sphiel, Sphiel. Whee! Ah-ha! And that guy was never heard from again. We're gonna go quickly to the to the town so that we can finish up some of those quests that we've had for five billion years. And just see what happens. Why she what happens, Billy? We'll go over here so we can talk to the dude and be like, yeah, cheer him, it's a Pokemon. And also an asshole because, yeah, the daylight form is broken and has a 0% catch rate. <laughs> Finished your room's Pokedex entry, have you? Let me have a look. Wow, you sure went into detail. Uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. So it changes its form when the sun's hidden. Guess it didn't, I didn't see it evolve. I just saw that change in action. I see now why it helps to have you Survey Corps folks work out at research in Pokemon. Guess I'd better get back to work on my own work. Food on the table is just another way to repay you. <laughs> and that one that's been haunting me for five billion years is over. And another one that's been haunting us in a different form is about to be finished. And I don't know, we'll probably have Valor to begin with because... I'm not sure what level to expect the Spiritomb to be, and it's going to fight us. Like, it's not going to just be like, Oh, you have reformed me. It's going to be a jerk. And are you going to turn out to be a ghost? Thanks again for your helping me. You've collected 107 wisps so far. Since you've gathered 90 wisps, here's a little thank you. Extra large experience candies. A uh, hundred wisps, haven't you? Please take this as well. Three grit rocks. And finally, Wow, you've given every last one of the wisps. I really can't thank you enough. Uh, now we can finally seal away that havoc reeking bundle of mischief once more. But we'll need to go to the Shrouded Ruins. That's the only place the sealing will work. We should meet there at the same time of day as when we first met. Hope you remember. At night. Of course it would be at night. We'll still begin with uh, Valor at the Mirelands because... I don't trust. Especially because it's a freaking ghost rock type. Like, it has to be a ghost type. And I don't trust no ghosts. I ain't afraid of no ghost. But I am annoyed by one, uh, by them. And yeah, from the looks of it, the Misfortune Sisters have now become just random encounters on the overworld. But I didn't bother to fight them because I was just like, meh. Too busy doing other things. Uh, I guess I should probably... Yep, figured, but still. Still. 
Just kind of pogo sticking my way up with the bird. Not the most efficient way, but it is a way. Who needs proper traversal when you can just pogo stick with a bird? And all this time the music's been messed up by the way the sky is. Oh, uh, wait. Damn it. It's not nighttime, is it? I have failed. And now I need to go all the way back down. Well, this is probably closer, all things considered. So we'll go there, wait for night, then go. My brain, it is turning to mush. But yeah, at least this is going to have a payoff, unlike the unknown. At least I think so, because the unknown have yet to do anything. And I kind of want to know why. It was this entire thing with riddles. They freaking had riddles. You'd think that the unknown would be a bit more important. Like, at least to some degree. But, at least I think there's gonna be a decent post-game to this. I mean, there was that locked, uh, door. Uh, in the Reggie K well, Reggie Temple. In that there temple in the uh, Alabaster Snow la uh, Ice Fields. Ice Lands. Oh, yeah, figure. I, for I actually forgot that this rock existed. Funnily enough. I still think she's going to turn out to be a ghost. Neon, I'm glad you came. Let's get started, shall we? We Well, then again, we do see her in the day, but we meet her at night. First of all, a confession. I may have told you one teeny tiny lie. About the wisps, there are actually 108 of them, and I'm the other one. I've been holding on to the last one. Could you put it in the old keystone with the others? But wait, before that, well, Neon, what do you think of me? Huh? You're a strange one. <laughs> Strange one, huh? Yeah, you're right. You really do understand me. Here it goes. The final wisp. After this, the traveler who used that strange magic will finally forgive me, right? Ah, uh, close your eyes for a sec, would you? Strange magic. Huh. I have the soul of a child! <laughs> the odd keystone started glowing. The odd keystone disappeared without a trace. Making you gather all those wisps was my last bit of mischief. Thanks for playing along. Please, don't forget about me. Is that it? I thought we were going to fight Spiritomb! You sense the presence of a strange Pokemon. Oh. Darn it. I'm gonna see if I can get a surprise hit on it. Since it's overworld, I should be able to lose it. Smack it from behind. Unless it's eternally aware. Wait, I know. Just keep looking that way. Ah, there we go. See if we can catch you without a fight. And if not... Now we need to be extra careful. We don't want to make it faint. 
That's why we're using Valor for this beginning. Now lower its attack. Ah, uh, that's gonna hurt. I thought you were Dark type. Ah, I'm dumb. Hmm. We'll send out Risu. Because it should be decent. Normal water pulse. An agile water pulse. Now I'm afraid because it could get I could get a crit. And if I got a crit, it would die and probably well, at the same time, this game would probably respawn it, but... Let's try and catch it like this. Woot woot! Now we have a spirit tomb. Spiritomb. <laughs> Caught one. Seen it use Hex, seen it use Dark Pulse, and seen it use a Strung, so this is definitely a, hey, you want to use this one. And hey, we've seen over 200 Pokemon now. And we can go report this, and then move on with the story. I caught 108 ghosts. Now the child will never be away from me. Yep, slowly. I wonder if normal Zoroark is in this game, because it specifically said Hisuian form. So that'll... we don't know. But now we will head back. Mass breakout! Oh no, of Bronzor! The fear is real. They'll just come at you. They won't even use tackle. They'll just lay on top of you and then you'll die. Alright. Now to move on with the main story. Hello. But to move on with the main story. By getting that origin ore from over here, apparently. With all the main collectibles out of the way. Oh yeah, it's this cave. That has the fossils of ancient Pokemon. I don't... I don't remember this. Was this here last time? Did this origin ore exist? What a curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of my Sligu's moves... I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? I mean, you do have a pickaxe. You are the prospector. We're going to have to a Misfortune. It's gotta be misfortune. We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. Oh, come on. Who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover, we haven't seen you since you walked out of the clan. And where have you been all this time? Hm, I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out the treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not as if you were hard to follow. What we seek may be as precious as treasure, but it isn't about... Oh, does 
how valuable it is, we need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ah, uh, the earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan in the first place. Enough. I don't care why any of you ran off to play bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. There are three of you and three of us. Let's go. Neon, you take charm. Ah, nice. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go. That's why you haven't won once. I was wondering where you've all been. I thought you would uh, attack me in the Alabaster I uh, Icelands. Go, Valor! What level is this ride on? 61, that's not good. You snarl! Good job. Use bitter malice! Agile Snarl, once more. Ah, crap, it goes first. Why did I get to have a chance to get away? The Magnificence of Pain. I'll go ahead and send out Risu to tank. I'll heal up. A little bit of, of my boy, Valor. The world is mean. Well, let's see. Can we go first with a... Uh... Nope, can't go first. Just send a little normal revive for Valor. The poor boy. It's not going to help you, you know. It's really not going to help you. Agile Crunch. Gang Advantage. Destroy it! Get out of here, Misfortune Sisters. When will you learn? Well, you are rather formidable. You should never have left the galaxy team. Fool. Come on, Clover. Why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing. We're changing. We could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in living back in that place with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you better not but you better do something about that sky. If you're as strong as ever, Neon, maybe you really do can do something about the monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. But even if you do, the next time we meet, you won't escape without a beating. Remember that. Fair weird. Honestly, those three. What did they even come here for? Ah, uh, well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need, even if she groused as she did. I suspect they may have been worried about us, perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. Wait, are they really just going about it in a very weird way? Like, ha, huh, the... The prince... Oh, is that why they kidnapped Arcana, uh, the Growlithe and took it to the Fire Spit Island? Because they heard about the whispers of, ah, she's not worthy to be Warden. And they wanted to evolve the Growlithe into Arcanine. And they thought that the bigger one was the son of the previous lord. But then why did they steal the... 
Then why did they steal the stone tablet? Was it to knock a blow against the warden there? I forget her name, like Kabbalah? Like, knock Kabbalah down a peg and then have someone else rescue the stone tablet and bring it back? Have they literally just been going about with a bunch of attitude? Ah, they are... If... A alternative character interpretation, but in universe, I guess. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever it is you wish to call it. I suppose it had better go off with you, Neon. Adorable Sligu. Isn't as huge as mine, which is honestly probably for the best. Piece of origin ore! Origin ore, an ore of mysterious power spoken of in ancient myths and said to contain the power of almighty Sinnoh itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply failed to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I knew we could count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. Let's hurry back to Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Lavington's got sound judgment, judgment plus knowledge to spare, despite his silly streak. Alright. I had a thought process going for a moment, but then it kind of left. But... Yeah, I had a thought process, and it's just gone. Like, uh, right as he was knocking away at the origin ore, my brain was gonna say something. But honestly... Okay, there's an Alpha Haunter. Okay. But uh, honestly, I could see, like, Irida and Adamin being, like, Ash's travel partners if Ash ever was in Legends Arceus. So this is the Stone of Creation's beginning, the origin ore. Hmm, yes. One can certainly feel an imposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the feeling of the very origin itself? I've been meaning to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything, by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Here you are, Professor Lavington. What remains of the red chain, broken, broken as it may be? Splendid! Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. You're up next, Neon. Time for, a uh, whatever we're calling that stone. <laughs> Origin ore! The fragments of the red chain collected at the great personal risk by the Pearl Clan. Then the stone of creation's beginning, which we first learned of thanks to the Diamond Clan. And now it's time for the Galaxy Team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Ray, my boy, you're one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Could I ask you to do the honors? Because Laventon is probably not that handy. Well, well he, uh, I mean, he had to have made something. He's a, a scientist. <laughs> Just wait, Neon. You'll finally see what I'm truly capable of. This may take us some time. Perhaps the rest of you had best wait outside while we work. Come on, Mr. Professor. Wish they'd hurried up in there. I'm starting to suspect all your prattling about the value of time is a cover for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever, because that'd be using time well, unlike this. <laughs> We've done it, Neon! I dub it the Origin Ball. If the message conveyed to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. The first Master Ball? Okay, explain to me. Origin Ball. A singular and irreplicable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon raging at the Temple of Sinnoh. Maybe not exactly the first Master Ball, but kind of. These Pokeballs of yours tr are full of wonders. To think the fate of all of Fisui could rest in something so tiny. 
It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these brings to the two of you closer together. Well, hold on, it's the voice. I hear it in my head again. You mean Dialga? Yeah. Seems like Mighty Dialga's willing to lend its strength to this fight. That's what it's telling me. That's certainly excellent news. The Diamond Clan's almighty Sinnoh, or perhaps I should say Dialga, is fearsomely powerful. Everything's ready now, Neon. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Dialga. I already have Dialga with me. He's my boy. Wait, what? Oh. Huh? My current location is in the mountainside. I'm not in Galaxy Hall at all! Let's see what happens. That's kind of funny. Darn. I can no longer know what's over there. The mystery is lost. Oh, hey! Kogiga. A Kogida. But before we head up there... Gonna put a lot of things away and start leveling up some Pokemon. Because if this is gonna be the final fight, I want my team to be somewhat decent levels all around. So, just gonna take a look for any pebbles and experience dealies. That we can spare. Because this is going to be the final bloody showdown. <laughs> Funnily, Dialga is the one that could still use these. And since Dialga is going to be the one up there fighting Palkia... These are worthless to me. Ah, Dialga, master to move. Good for you. Almighty Sinnoh, master to move. Get him up to level 70 just to be safe. then I'll give one each to Valor and Spyro. Alrighty. Hey, Kogita, what are you doing here? Ah, here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate atop Mount Coronet. It seems a vicious battle might await you. I'll go where I must. This world needs it. Oh, well said. Now hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you'll encounter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Palkia, ruler of all space. If it is allowed to run wild, space itself will warp and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Dialga, the ruler of time, and therein lies hope. Balance will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Dialga at your side and make for the Temple of Sinnoh at once. <laughs> Irida has nothing to say. <laughs> I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have to look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. <laughs> All right, Neon. Once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Doing Kogita's voice is so hard on my throat. <laughs> You'd think, like, oh, doing a weak voice should be easy. No. No, it's not.
But I'll definitely have Dialga go first. But off we go. Hey, Dialga, beat that up for me, will ya? <laughs> and it's in here, that's what I figured. <laughs> I just figured it'd be funny if I could just like, <laughs> they didn't want to give you the opportunity to waste it. Ah, I guess that Gliger hated me. But here we go. What you gotta say now, man? This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. You'd think that it would change to... This is stone point... Por this is stone portal, and I have orders to let you through. And hopefully I don't have to fight a hard ninja again. Ah, Volo. Hopefully... Do I, do I have to fight you? Just the girl I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at the base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here, closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats if there's a chance to see into the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokémon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in a neat bow before I could possibly be in any danger. Not to mention, I have God. I literally have the power of God and anime on my side. 111 Pokeballs and doesn't even afford the revive. It doesn't even revolve the revive. Alright, this is music. Very interesting music. Like, I'm probably never gonna use smoke bombs. This is really interesting music. Why have I not heard it before? Hmm, Seed of Mastery. I'm probably not gonna use many of these. I'll take five max revives. Hopefully I won't need any more. Thanks, Volo. Thank you for not attacking me. On my way to destiny, I am running in slow motion. My legs are moving, but I don't feel like we're going anywhere. Ghost stories. Such an odd dub. It's a national treasure. Dear God, that's scary. Seeing that, I can't even look all the way up. That makes it even more terrifying. It really says something that I can do Commando's voice so much easier than Kogita's. Why did I give Kogita that voice? For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether that meant banishing you or seeking to destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I thought it was uh, my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready to fight. Hey, Neon. Let's meet tomorrow together. What is that supposed to mean? It's the same we've got into the Diamond Clan. It means you hope you'll both stay safe. Hmm. Perhaps it's worth listening to what the Diamond Clan has to say sometimes after all. We will support you in whatever way we can, though I doubt you'll need it. Neon. Protect Hisui and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. Yes, sir. Cap Commander Kamado. Now that you are sane and not evil. Sinnoh of space. Great Palkia. Thank you for just staying here all this time. Go, Dialga! Oh, so this is what happens to Stone Pillar. 
It blew the roof off the goddamn place! It destroyed the statues of the other! It destroyed the statues of the ancient hero's team! Bastard Palkia! Roar of time! What? What the hell? Palkia, what has become of you? What the hell? Why does Palkia become an Arceus Centaur? What the hell? Spaceball? What? <laughs> okay. Epic music. This is this is a bop. Oh, it's lingers. Okay, didn't see that coming. I am not used to this boss fight. He has hotels. Oh, yeah, seriously. Palkia, did you betray your father? This is awesome. Dang it. That one has no setup. That final one has no setup where it's just like area of effect. <laughs> area of effect. I'm going to start from the beginning just for the sound to the music. It's wonderful. Where did we get space bombs? Okay. Whoop. This music is amazing! I never see that one coming. This music is amazing. It's I think it's a remix of the Battle at Stone Pillar, but still. Dang it! That was close! Love this music. I hit again because I dodged him properly. I hate. Oh, I die! I am the one, the one. I became Neo. Forsake your father's form. Give him back his legs. You are not him. What the hell would. Dialga Arceus look like. That's awesome. But I'm still sad that he destroyed all the statues of the ten friends of the ancient hero. God? Is it you? Did I give you back your legs? Oh no, it's the sunlight! <laughs> that was an awesome uh, final battle. The, the area of effect rings were kind of bullshit. But they were like last minute. 
<laughs> reactionary things. React to these or die. Yeah, what the hell? Why did he become Arceus-like? She, she caught it. She really did it, didn't she? My eyes aren't lying, right? She actually went and caught it? Yeah, so good show. What a catch. You contained the fearsome thing in the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, Neon. Thanks, Sino. It's just what I'd expect from my protege. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> so even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, but decided to have witnessed. Hmm. <laughs> he threw them. Ouch! What gives, Commander? Not sure I deserve a th sumo throw. Hmm. Well, at least it seems this is no dream. Hmm. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity unlike any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather your clans. This will be the greatest celebration Hisui has ever seen. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together? Huh. Well, since it turns out we were both following a true almighty Sinnoh of our own, I guess the times when we'd fight over who was, was wrong and right are ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. But this may well be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in the Hisui region. So that's how Stone Pillar happened. Palkia frickin' stole his father's legs and threw a temper tantrum. But I still have to work towards finding God. Now that the space-time rift is gone, God's my only way out. Oh, credit time! I'm gonna continue though, because there's gotta be a million things that I can do if post game exists. But this music! Ah, memories of the past! So, yeah, good thing that I ended when I did last time. We, we almost went for an hour here, and that was without me doing grinding of the other optional things. This is such good music. I love this game. Okay, while the credits roll, I will give my overall thoughts of the game. Beginning as the initial story itself. The story itself, well, not the story itself, but the initial gameplay itself, the gameplay premise of going from part of the region to part of the region, sneaking up on Pokemon, Pokemon battles, and going before, like, really making this game about the original Pokemon premise of gotta face all the Pokemon and gotta catch them all and gotta train them all too. Love it. It is actually fantastic. The story really is what ties it all together though. They really could have fucked it up. They could have fucked it up if they left it kind of like Monster Hunter worldy because I'll be honest, I am not really a fan of Monster Hunter World's gameplay, like, overall thing. Like, here, because the story is so interwoven with the initial gameplay premise, and the gameplay premise is so easy to do, that you can just do it while you go about- I, that still surprised me, that he freaking became a ninja. The Potato Mochi Man almost kicked my ass. But yeah, I can't believe it. The temple's gone. Ah! But yeah, this is so good. And I haven't run into that many, like, frame rate issues. Not really. Then again, I don't really take note of frame rates all that much unless they're really low and really high. Basically, I take note of extremes. Or if there's, like, a sudden dip. Otherwise, I could care less about frame rate. If it's smooth enough that I don't really notice it one way or the other, it's perfectly fine. 
If it's smooth enough, it's smooth enough. But yeah, in the story, I actually really like the story. This is up there with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon for me. This is one of my favorite Pokemon games and one of my favorite games in general in a long time. Because the music is great, the gameplay is great, the premise is new to the Pokemon thing, and that's another cool thing, is that it's the Pokemon game. It's the Pokemon series. So I can go through and be like, ooh, like if this were an original thing, I probably wouldn't care that much. It'd be kind of like Pokemon Snap if it wasn't Pokemon. Like if it was just, oh, take pictures of wildlife creatures, I wouldn't have cared. Go, oh, capture and catalog creatures. I probably wouldn't have cared, but it's Pokemon. And that's why I really like it. <laughs> but yeah, I love this. And the selection of Pokemon, I think, was really good. The selection of Pokemon seemed to have plenty of Pokemon from the various, like, regions, the various generations. And then they added, like, new ones, like Sneasler in the Hisui region variants. Look! Thank you for adventuring with us. There was a Pokemon band! I was looking all over that I couldn't... Ah. Uh. That was amazing. Your arc phone is beeping. I love this game. Seek out all Pokemon. Yep. Prepare, then make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. What? Well, uh, a new day dawns. Leave your core. The rift in space-time has disappeared, and calamity seems to have been averted. At last, you can return to the survey corps May duty. Completing the Pokedex. Then I can go for Gone Astray in the Icelands, and see if we can grind out the Clefairy Dance. And yeah, then it's just going to go from place to place, seeking out Pokemon that I haven't completed. The Pokedex for, and all that. Morning, Neon! So the space-time rift is gone. Think this means we can finally close the book on this whole mess? Well, in any case, there's one book we can't close yet, the Pokedex. Time to get back to our official Survey Corps duty of completing it. We're gonna meet in the Survey Corps office to discuss how we'll tackle the work that's left. See you there, Neon. And the thing is, it's kind of RNG, I think, because a few Pokemon can only be gotten from the Rifts, I think. Either that or their rare spawns. So, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. I do not the not not. Alright, Silene. So, I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. Huh, sure did. Indeed. That only seems natural, given the crowd. I believe, la I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Laventon, to business. What is the current state of the progress on the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress all in all. Though we could afford to put a little more effort into our research tasks. And, of course, it is hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Certain Pokémon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends, after all. Who knows if they're even real? Yeah, we're still relatively new to these parts. How are we to know what's true and what's not? Pardon, couldn't help but over here. I, if it's Hisuian history and legends you want, then I'm your man. Why, I've spent plenty of time studying such things instead of... <coughs> I mean, while also tirelessly doing my work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about any Pokemon of legend in these parts. Oh, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, Neon. You ought to learn all you can from the Merchant Volo and work together as needed for the sake of the Pokedex. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokémon by other means. Understood. I'll sit up at the Heights Camp, then. I'll be expecting you. Researcher of Myths! Besides, I have something I'd like to discuss with you, too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. Alright. No new missions? Let's just go. 
Although a few things we'll have to do is, uh, to really grind things out is use moves with Pokemon. Which will be a bit mean. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, seen it use Spatial Ren, Strong, Agile Style, and Aqua Tail. We'll bring Palkia into the team. Probably... <coughs> I don't even know. I'll probably put Risu away. Sorry, Risu. You're gonna be replaced by a god. Aye, right, give me back my boy. And then we're gonna have to have a rotating cast for some because we'll need to really look into getting some characters like this guy. We need to use Outrage and Dragon Claw. Outrage and Dragon Claw. All right. Then we need to put Outrage and Dragon Claw on. Dragon Claw is already on. And then we'll move Outrage over Iron Head, because I don't think there's that many steel type opportunities. And then Aqua Tail Spatial Rend. Aqua Tail Spatial Rend. They're already there. Yeah, so some of these we'll need to... And for you, it's Roar of Time and Iron Tail. Which is funny, because I took Iron Tail off of you, so now we need to put it back on. Uh, instead of Earth Power. I mean, I could have done Flash Cannon, but eh. He'll be my Steel Progenitor. Alright. We still need to find some of you, because we can catch you. Oh, yeah. Luckily, we completed Rialu by the time we... Diddly deed. Diddly deed did it. And we need to see you use Bitter Malice and Nasty Plot more, and just use... Uh, so, Nasty Plot and Agile Styles. Yeah, we're gonna have to hunt down a lot of Pokemon. And finally, I think after we complete Palkia and Dialga's stuff, we'll put them in the pasture. So that we can begin leveling up other people, other Pokemon's Pokedex entries. Alright, Researcher of Myth. Oh yeah, because we can't, uh... We have to select it from here. All right. There's another cave in there. Oh, no. It's the etchings. The etchings that I've been taking note of. Neon, there you are. Have a look here, will you? A good, long, close look, please. See these patterns modeled after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters, rather like hieroglyphs, if you will. That would explain why there were two Basculegions. I've inspected ruins across the region and have concluded that they all seem to tell the same tale. The tale of a brave soul who, together with the Pokemon at his side, went on a journey to search for the fragments of an all-encompassing deity. A deity? That sounds like my phone. Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard this name. It does sound familiar. Of course! What else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Hisui region? But now, let us discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. Haven't you noticed that all ha they all have the words carved on their backs? Go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you, you obtained. The, or the original one breathed alone before the universe came. 
This original one is none other than the Pokemon known as Arceus. So what do you say, Neon? I think we should try to gather all the plates. Didn't I? And I've got... Oh, I guess there is a few, because we only have ten. And I've just got... And I have just the idea where to start our search. Come join me at the heart of the grueling grove. Sure thing, my dude. Yeah, the grueling grove. That's not one of the lakes, but it does have a mini island on it. There are a few of those. Like lakes with tiny little islands on them that are not all that important in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, but let me see. I probably should go on foot so I can slowly seek out Pokemon that I need to. Hello, Starly. You are concluded. You there, Geodude. You are concluded. You're... You are no longer needed. Hmm. The tree Pokemon. We must see if they need to be... Concluded. Burmy is concluded. Cascoon must be concluded. We don't even have a Togepi, but we do have that flying Toga whatever. Hmm. We will have to use a bunch of rest with Munchlax and then evolve him. Dustox, Floatzel. We will need to use Agile Water Pulse, a shit ton with Jet. We must go. Eh. Basically, we're gonna have to use a bunch of bloody moves. With a bunch of the Pokemon that we've gathered. Cricketot is obviously already done, at least in that way. Who needs to swim? Rapidash. Let's see if we can find Rap- Rapidash was early. With Rapidash, if we defeat it with a water-type move, we'll be really set. Do we have- Aqua Tail! Palkia knows Aqua Tail! Kind of funny that, but yeah, what the hell would an Arceus Dialga have looked like? Because obviously, the choice to go with one of the clan leaders affects the outcome of the game a bit. This Rapidash thinks that it is God. You must strike it down. Use it now. Aqua Tail! That really works. So yeah, it'll be mostly go about with missions, find Pokemon. Oh god, the water Pokemon are gonna be the worst because sneaking up on them is a pain in the ass. Knock down this tree a bit for me. I think this is a Pokemon that I've completed. Yep, by pure happenstance. I've completed it. Hmm, an alpha combi. I think that we've completed combi, actually. Yep, we've completed combi. But we do need Vespa Queen. I know Ves Ve Vespa Queen's out there somewhere. Ah, 
Uh, good for you. The alpha diddly do ain't here. Normally, there's that uh, beetle Pokemon, Heracross. So, what do you want to show me here? Now, Neon, according to my own investigations... Huh? What? An Alpha Vespaquin? Terribly sorry, Neon, but do you think you could handle it? <laughs> Darn it, and I didn't look at what I need to beat you with. Probably a flamethrower. But we'll try Spatial Rend. Spatial Rend! Please survive. It'd be uh, kind of funny if one of the almighty gods was brought low by the bloody bug type. Agile Aqua Tail. We'll try and capture it so that we can add it to the diddly D. But we'll max potion you because it could be rude. And of course you get the the nice Pokeball. Dialga deserves that nice Pokeball, you know. Go! Ultra Ball! Woot woot! I was just talking about Vespa Queen. Stone plate. Ah. Stone plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of rock. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the rock type. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe it just happened to find the plate laying around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. And yet nothing seems to be happening, which makes me suspect there may still be more plates. The fairy plate! Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know all about the plates. Mistress Kogita. The one and only Mistress Kogita, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for her help in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit, so onward to the ancient retreat. Oh, that... Oh, hey, the Alpha Heracross is here now. Lol. Vespa Queen. Well, at least we got a decent amount of things out of you. One, two, three, four. And uh, I think that the little double arrow thing means that they're worth extra points or something. It's kind of weird. I find it funny that Togetek's portrait make it look like we don't own one, even though we do. And we... Oh, read the text. Two beings of time and space set free from the original one. The being poured the remains of its power into the stone and buried it deep. The third being raged, raining down bolts of anger. The rules of time and space change within the opposite world, so Giratina is here somewhere. When the universe was created, its shards became these plates. The powers of plates are shared among Pokémon. The power of defeated giants infused this plate. The rightful bearer of a plate, it draws from the plate it holds. It gathers power from the plates, listening for the flute's song. Where all creation was born, that is the uh, place of the being's origin. The original one breathed alone. And yep, Heracross is indeed all diddly d. Okay, but we're going to go. I'm going to go see. Back to the normal place. I caught a giant Vespa Quinn. It was mean to me. Ah, we completed Zoroark. Somehow. 
Ah, uh, we didn't complete you. Uh, I guess you were six instead of eight last time, and now you're eight. Oh, well. Well, we know how to whittle you down, so... Yeah, it'll just be a slow, slow thing. Just whittling away at it. To find all Pokemon. I think what I'll do is I'll save Rapidash for last. Since I know easily where Rapidash is. And then I'll meet and complete all other Pokemon. More easily. Okay, but... Alright, I just want to organize some things. just want to organize all my Eevees in a row. I want to just gather up all my Eevees and put them in a single place where I know they are. So I can keep an, like, overall database on what Eeveelutions I do and don't have in here while I evolve them with the stones. Ah, this would be perfect for the multi-select. Because we need an Espeon and all the elemental stones. Well, maybe. There might be a few. I don't want to release any of them. And the thing is, I did a terrible job managing my boxes. I haven't caught this many Pokemon before. And I still need to follow through on my plan of use a, a bunch of your abilities to max out your Pokedex entry. And then level you up into the next Porygon mode, and then level that up too. Oh, hey. Need to move you over with the rest of the unknown boys. But I thought I had a... Okay, let's see. Is this correct? It looks kind of correct. Of uh, all the Eevees that I have. Then we'll quickly move everyone out and evolve them as much as possible. So we want... Espeon, Flareon... Glaceon... I'm trying to think of all of the 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 Eevions there are. I'm gonna quickly go grab all the elemental stones that I have. Flareon, Jolteon, Flareon, Jolteon, Espeon. And then, do we have anything for... Well, maybe this will be the Dilly Stone. Maybe that, I don't know. Because is there an Ice Stone? There's definitely a Leaf Stone, but we caught a Leafeon. We need a, some kind of Ice Stone, Snow Stone. Take as many stones as possible. Well, first things first. Evolve into a Flareon. Ah, is there no stone for Espeon? I thought that the Sunstone might work. Oh, well. So it looks like I'll have to level up Friendship during the day and level up Friendship near that Ever Ice Stone, if, if there is an Ever Ice Stone. Diddly. And... nope. Put away a bunch of things. Of 
Well, we still need uh, Glaceon Evolution, which will be... Well, let's see. See if there's, like, any kind of Ice Stone in there. We have the Leaf Stone, but we already have a Leafeon. So that means that there must be some kind of Ice Stone that would then allow us to, you know, get a Glaceon. Hello, Ninja Man. I did what I came to do here in Hisui. I suppose it's time for me to head someplace with a more agreeable climate. Aw, oh, you're gonna leave, my dude? For your potato mochi. Wanna get items. Ice stone. I have the points for it. Moonstone. Nope. Dawn. Wait. If I thought I tried a dawn stone. Hmm. I'll have to double check that. But first things first. Glaceon time! We tried the Dawn Stone, and yet you'd think that that would be the replacement for leveling up during the day. Maybe its friendship still needs to be high, though, but then that would kind of defeat the purpose in a way. Just want to double, triple check. Nope, Dawn Stone does not work even though you kind of would think that that would be the stone replacement. But maybe there is no stone replacement for it. So we'll keep Eevee with us for now. We'll keep Eevee with us for now. Wish I could be like, hey, come with me. All right. I guess Valor will stay here while we foster the Eevee, because we still need to level up Dialga and Palkia's placements. And then once the Eevee is happy enough with us by just doing menial tasks of gathering stuff, we'll... Evolve it during the day, explicitly. Is the Undertaker gonna come murder me? Because <laughs> there's the dong, dong is very ominous, scary. Hello, Mistress Kogita. Oh, last one. It's a mirror. It's miraculous what you've done. It seems the red chain served its purpose well, and you carried out your duty as you were bid. But what brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about Arceus. Ah, yes, a tale whose origins lie in a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I descend across for many generations. Those forebears of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region, and I have heard that of certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is that all? I thought that surely, surely you would tell us more about Arceus and the plates. I'm afraid I've nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond and Pearl clans would never have confused Dialga and Palkia if the creator, Arceus, had anything concrete been passed down. If only we had more to go on, the answers to these mysteries may even shed light on why Neon here fell from the sky. Ah, I see what you intend. Very well, I'll help you as best I can. There are still other tremendous Pokémon in Hisui. 
other mysteries to be solved. Whether they are connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain. But in searching them out, perhaps you'll stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. There are the Pokemon of the lakes, of course, and the Temple Giant, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano, and perhaps you might even return to the very beginning. Now then. Now then, what would you hear of? Hmm. We'll save the beginning for later. The Temple Giant. Reggie Gigas. The Three Lake Pokemon. I asked them, you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you've become. So go beat them up. Got it. Now then, what would you hear of? The volcano. Well, there would be the butt fire spit island. The crescent moon. Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that glue eliminate your path? Well, make for the coronet highlands for now. The temple giant. The secret that lurks in Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. And finally, the beginning. Indeed, a beginning for you, certainly. Where was it that you first fell to Earth here? That'll be it. Done with your questions, are you? Very well, lost one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokémon that might otherwise have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed, for your own sake, and for that of that Pokédex you labor on. Ah, so new Pokémon have come out to play. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress... Oh, <laughs> now it sounds like Volo was mocking her. I knew we could rely on you, Mistress Kogita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now, let us find those plates. It's just as I suspected. Pokemon are the key to our search, Neon. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the messages on the backs of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go search for the Pokemon that Kogita mentioned, Neon. I have my own avenues of research that I'd like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Alright, I thought we'd have to do it one at a time and then come back to her, but no, it's just, hey, go do it. So I knew that Chrysalia, the moon Pokemon, but I wonder what will be, uh, wait, ah, hmm, hmm, I don't know. Hey, Komado! I have a message from Mistress Kogita. I'm told that you're collecting plates of some sort with the merchant Volo. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. I guess we'll start at the beginning, it seems only fitting. If Kamado didn't meet us, I would have uh, stayed behind a bit and done the other ones, like the Lake Trio, the Volcano and stuff, first. But since Kamado personally is asking, let's go. I wonder what it, the Prelude Beach could be. Probably the Moon Pokemon. Wait, no, but this is the beginning. Mount Coronet is the moon. And we do have been hearing Pokemon out here. Ooh, maybe Mew? Could Mew be the beginning as well? As a cheeky little nod, since the beginning is Arceus, but the beginning could also be Mew. But we haven't heard anything about Mew. I want Mewtwo, damn it! But Mewtwo is the future. But at the same time, I have a freaking Porygon. But yeah, what is that Pokemon noise we hear over here? Probably Apalm mocking us. We're going to fight you again, aren't we? Prelude Beach. Indeed, a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. <laughs> no. <laughs> but no, we'll fight you. We'll fight you. I'll beat you down again, boy. I have gods on my side. The Galaxy Team's Commando challenged you to battle. 
He got dressed in his combat gear for this. Eevee is gonna get fucking rocked. You enter. Yep. I knew that was gonna happen! Go, Palkia! Destroy it with Aqua Tail! I'm using gods. Can you say the same? You are kind of annihilating my my gods to a degree. But just because I haven't leveled Palkia. I should have used Spatial Rend, but Water uh, Hydro Pump works. Or it doesn't. And I go twice again. Love the combat music, though. Spatial Rend! That's an awesome effect now that I actually got to see it. You bastard. Use Aqua Tail. And Spatial Ren. I love that effect. If I can just keep healing like you did. You use a full restore on your tankiest Pokemon. Thank God that red didn't do that when I played Pokemon Crystal. Spatial red, finish him off! At least we got decent spatial rends out of that for your Pokemon dealie. Oh God, it's a fairy! No! My God, my God's cower in fear of the fairy. But do we want to swap out to anyone? We don't really... Well, I guess, uh... Dialga. You go. Face the demon. Use Iron Tail! And goddammit, it lived. It's gonna destroy you, my boy! Okay, not as bad as I thought. For some reason, I thought that uh, fairy would annihilate you. But I guess not. Go back to the moon, Clefable. God damn it, it missed. Well, luckily, we didn't use strong move. Go back to the moon, Clefable. I'm not sure what you expected, my dude. I should have healed you up. Now this is where we truly die. I think I'm right. Okay, never mind. Splinters from that, huh? Fear. Okay, first things first. You're getting up there in damage, so have some heals. Pin missile. Oh, steel! You killed a god. Congratulations. But now I send out my grass to annihilate you. Air slash. Woohoo! Oh yeah, it's gonna annihilate you, isn't it? Because it's a naughty, naughty cheater. Water and dragon, so I don't think it'd be able to do much. I'll send out Spyro. 
Because would it do a lot of damage to ground? To the ground type. I'll send out Palkia for now. We'll revive Dialga so he can get experience. Well, first thing first, let's see. Well, Aqua Tail, and then on our double move, we'll revive Dialga. And... Perfect. That doesn't look good. Okay, good. I see flames and fire and doom, and I go, I'm gonna die today. What what happened to my second move? You hurt my feelings. Spatial rend! How could you dodge that, you bastard? Alright, we'll send out Spyro to tank revive. First things first. Because I want my dudes to get experience from this. This is a high level trainer battle. I like to do the same thing for Eevee. Wrong thing. Just remembered I need to revive Eevee too. My poor baby Eevee. Now we finish it. Shadow Claw! Spyro wins the day! Congratulations, you fainted both legendary Sinnoh monsters. Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can become powerful allies. And that's why I revived everyone. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Coronet. And kind of, I guess. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. You are a descendant of the Great Sinnoh, my dude? Fist Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of the Fighting Spirit. When used on a certain Pokémon, it allows that Pokémon to gain the power of the Fighting type. Huh. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others set foot on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. It clearly held some kind of power, and so I've kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that it should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on this same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so, you and I, Adamin, Irida. It did appear we're all being guided by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Uh, it might be more appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. I know I have no right to say this, we are truly fortunate to be able to count you among the Survey Corps' ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with your survey work! The knowledge that you collect about the wild Pokémon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future! I've come around on Kamado. He's a cool dude. Based on Kogita's hints, it seems there might be four more plates left for you to find. Well, that's cool. I thought there would be legendary Pokemon after legendary Pokemon. Instead, we fought Kamado. <laughs> but okie doke. Let's see. Let's go to Fire Spit Island. Uh, well, we'll begin at the... We'll just, uh, make our way from the beachside camp. 
because I want Evie to become my friend. Which means throwing it at a, a lot of uh, apricorns and stuff. Oh, hey! The festival attended by everyone in the clans and galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Iskin in front of everyone was like a dream come true. Neon, Lena, I I'm sorry, Paulina here is something she wants to discuss with you. That's right, you should also hear this, Irida. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Farspit Island. Uh oh, Farspit Island? Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. <laughs> it's just very hot there. My, you speak of such disregard, disparaging terms of the seat that my lord Arcanine calls home, and to think you call yourself our leader, Irida. No, no, Lena, I didn't. Oh, stop with the silly old nickname in front of others, won't you? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Well, anyway, you heard her. Please get to Farspit Island so we can res resolve this. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. Now, the real question is... What the hell is going to be there? Surely you can beat up whatever's here, level 46 Eevee. We're going to have to get rid of baby doll eyes. You don't have good moves. We're going to have to fix that. <laughs> Gotta fix your moves because baby doll eyes is uh, very bad for us. Very bad. And then we'll put quick attack in place of calm mind. And then it's just uh, have it be friendly towards us during the day. Yep, you're sick. Stop. What about you, Sfeel? What do we need for Sfeel? Uh, Scarum of Scatterbangs. I don't have any Scatterbangs left. Uh... Get in the ball! Get in the ball! Darn you! You're supposed to be my friend. You've got a friend in me. No, you don't. You've got a friend in me. But you don't, because I'm going to leave you. I want to catch that rock. It's obviously a Pokemon in disguise. Nothing can tell me that it isn't. I saw the yellow and went, level up. <laughs> it was like, evolve time. And since we already completed Octillaries, we don't have to really worry about it. Because apparently this, very slightly, increases a Pokemon's disposition towards you. Forcing it to do menial tasks over and over again. <laughs> makes it like you more. In short, we are inflicting Stockholm Syndrome on our Pokemon. Did we ever catch that big auxiliary, even once? Man, now I really want, like, a mainline feeling Pokemon game done in this style. Like, maybe make a dynamic, uh... Anime inspired game. <laughs> Manti. Hi, I was gonna look at your daily. Get in the ball. Woo! Let's see. Catch without being spotted. Ah, this. Ah, it disappeared. Now oh, that works. 
But yeah, there's gonna be a lot of Pokédex grinding. But I wonder what this means. They're like hieroglyphs, he says. Sure, dude, whatever you say. Oh, good. I already completed yours. You can let go now. Let's see. Caught a knight. Caught without being spotted. Defeat with electric moves. Do we have any Pokemon that have electric moves? I don't think we do, unless you have electric punch. You do have thunder punch. But you're part steel type. Would water be good against steel? Let's see. Who else do we have currently? Ah, uh, yes. The ground type. So, yeah. It's Zack or nothing. Get rid of that close combat. Move in the Thunder Punch. We'll need to get a good opportunity to catch it unawares and beat it up. Dang it! There's just no sneaking up on Pokemon in the water. There's no good sneaking up on Pokemon in the water. You have to move so slow and I hate it. There we go. You are as its senior. Beat it up with Thunder Punch. It knows the roots. That's stupid. Thunder Punch it again. Yeah, survive that. Because you're the mighty Zack. Catching Pokemon. On the back of Basque Legion is not easy. I resorted to using air balls, like the jet balls when it came to trying to get uh, Tentacruel and stuff. Love the music, though. I'm gonna have to find the goddamn soundtrack. But now that we can fly... Let's see. For the Cobalt Coastlands. Nine Tails. Defeat with water type moves. Well, it's your time to shine. Well, first things first, break that because it gets in the way super easily. We already caught one of you. Now I'm gonna Aqua Tail you to death. That way we can explore this place unhindered. Aqua Tail! If I need to see moves from some of these Pokemon, I'll just go do and nope oh we are on the completely wrong side we can't fly over the lava probably because they don't want you to land on the lava and be like gee why can I not die by lava alright let's hyper potion up Zack but since we're going in, yeah, we're probably going to use Palkia for this, because 
fire. Hello, Iskin. Hello, Neon. Thank you for counting us so far out of coming so far out of your way. Uh, Warden Iskin, wasn't Lena joining us? Oh yes, about that. Um, it seems she wanted some time with her lord, so she's asked us to check the lava dome sanctum without her. What the nerve of? She knows I can't stand swilling in places like this. Uh, I'm not sure she meant. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Uh, anyway, Neon, shall we go? Might as well get this over with. I wonder what Pokemon's gonna be in here. Darkrai. Heateran. Okay. Careful, Neon. Ow. Okay. Oh, it's gonna be one of the... I can't... It'd be nice if you'd actually let me get my items out. Dear God, it would be nice if there was a heal item for people. Human medicine does not exist in this world. Why did that reset to that? Why did it reset to Orenberry? Aqua Tail, knock it down some. Go Ultra Ball. I'm not sure there's any other move I'd want to use right now. Huh, that worked. That was a scary fight on on foot. That was a scary on foot fight. I did not expect Heateran, but yeah, I obtained the Iron Plate. Iron Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of steel. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the steel type. Whew, at least the heat's let up a bit. With with both Arcanine and Heateran spewing flames about on a volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Warniskin, I have to ask, do you think there was any need at all for me to be here? Um, well, yes, of course there was, after all. You're the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this trouble cropped up right around the seat of one of your clan's nobles, so, um... Yes, it was surely best for you to come see to it. Admirable of you to look after your clan's affairs. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Lena to train her Growlithe harder. Th th that's surely not the case. E even if Warden Paulina may have mentioned something about the need for a um, tough love. I thought so. To think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe. But when it comes to me... Well, Neon, you did great. Well, um, just head back ahead of you, then. Did not expect Heateran. I keep forgetting that Heateran technically exists. Based on Kokita's hints, it seems there may be three more plates for you to find. But before we end all this, uh, for at least this area, I gotta see... Because unless that little, uh, diddly D over there is for something else, maybe Arceus himself, because there's no lake for this area. Dear God, this music's great. That's it. I'm going into the settings. Raise up that sound music. I don't care if I die more because of it. Yeah, because we're going to have to evolve a bunch of Pokemon. Love the music. Get 
some of you. There's so many Pokemon that I need to catch. Luckily, I already did Toxic Croak. All right, we'll Sneasler all our way up there and see if there's anything in there now. There probably won't be. It'll probably be the final place to catch all the Leak Lake Trio one after another in there, maybe. Like, we'll go to the lakes one by one and be like, okay, we'll accept the challenge. Love the music. When the music hits, the music really hits. Let's see anything in here yet, or is it later? Well, it definitely seems later. I guess we could try and go after Reggie Gigas. Or would it be... Oh, God. What if it's all three of the Reggies, one after another, or all at once, at the damn Snowpoint Temple? I would assume not, because Reggie Gigas himself, alone, is on the hieroglyphs. But still, fear comes forth. I shudder in fear and hope that the game is kind. All right, the other places are the Lake Trio. Oh, we completed you. So if we really wanted to, we could do away with you ever so slightly. But you're my Aqua Tail Man. All right. I'll need to look at my missions, because the three lakes for each of the lake trio to be like, I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you for your soul. Your soul. Moonview Arena. Ah. Let's go after the Moonview, because that's the one I hold, like, the least interest in that Pokemon. I always thought it was like a pseudo-legendary. <laughs> uh, the summit camp. And then we'll probably have to do it at night. And then I guess while we're here, we'll also sleep to nighttime multiple times until we get... Uh, a full moon and then go to the Clefairies. Because that's still the... Is that the last remaining... Request. Nope, gone no... Because Zeke went and did, did dumb at the Icelands. Kabbala. I don't suppose a grunt like you would even know, but I guess it behooves me to ask, do you know about the Pokemon called Cresselia? I do. Well, I figured you'd know. I wouldn't expect any less from someone who managed to defeat me, even if it was just a fluke. Uh, Cresselia is said to be from the very embodiment of the crescent moon. Her feathers are called lunar feathers, and legend says that if you hold one as you fall asleep, you'll be visited with wondrous dreams. Well, I call her a nightmare, that pesky Cresselia. She's descended upon Moonview Arena and caused my lord to hide itself away. I'm so worried about Electro that I can't even sleep, never mind dream. <laughs> think you might be able to catch Cresselia and perhaps even claim one of those lunar feathers. Oh, do catch that pesky flying croissant. They know about croissants. <laughs> do it for my poor Electrode. Though I suppose Cresselia can't be all bad if she's at least recognized the perfection of the arena looked after without loving care by the great Melly. Cresselia, I'm here to fight you. What? What? You fucker!
face your god and pray, you little bitch. How dare you make me confused? Aqua Tail! Well, that's not good at all. That's not good at all! Let's see, steel types? Huh. I wonder what Moon Blast was h hard against. Dialga, take over for your brother! The Moon Monster must be destroyed. I mean, hard with the utmost care. Agile Flash Cannon, we can't be too tasty. Yeah, maybe normal Flash Cannon in the future. Okay, good, it's not a fairy move, so it's not good against Dragon. Even if it did almost do a third of your health. You bitch. Use normal Iron Tail. It hopefully won't kill. Ah, that might just come in handy. Less offensive stats means that you'll more than likely be able to go even harder. Stop healing yourself! And obscuring yourself. Iron Tail, again! Of course you missed. You're an annoying little one. Roar of Time! Well, that'll make it go twice, but I'm angry. It didn't even do that much. And now it's gonna go twice, and hopefully you'll live. Barely. Hopefully it'll run out of, uh, moon blessings. Power Gym! I entail. Perfect! Don't you dare moon... Okay, moon blast is okay. Don't moon blessing yourself. You rotten little croissant. Power gem. Whittle down its health. And now, another Iron Tail. Will that finally be enough of that? We're trying to catch you. Well, that's what you get for that. Uh, flash cannon, I guess. Will you ever run out of those? Luna Blessing. Going twice, I see. I think you're out of your moon blasts. That's something, at least. But you still have Luna Blessings for some reason, because, you know, that's fair. I'm getting a lot of see your moves out of this. If it doesn't use Loan of Blessing, I'm gonna try and catch it. Fuck. Let's 
strong style, it's our only one. Of course, we... we <laughs> I hate when they give healing moves to legendaries. Utterly dumb. Why do you still have that? And why does it obscure you too? I can't believe you're making me agree with Melly. You're a croissant. How did you run out of moon blast before lunar blessing? Utterly how? You're just a PowerPoint wasting bullshit asshole. I'm gonna have to move to a different Pokemon. At least uh, I know not to throw out my fighting type Pokemon because you're using a bunch of psychic. And I guess maybe I can throw out uh, Palkia again because you ran out of your moon blasts. Please, no Lunar Blessing. Why do you still have that? That's fucking stupid. I'm sorry, but it's just so stupid that it just has so many Lunar Blasts. Why was Pal... Why? Eh, I'm obscured because I have a healing move. Asshole. You're an asshole. You're going to struggle yourself to death. You're just wasting your power points even more. I swear if I get a crit time, a uh, roar of time and it kills you, I'll be so upset. But luckily, I think this game is kind and won't do that. Roar of time again! Fuck off! Well, this is my last move with Dialga. Don't you dare! I swear! Don't struggle. Okay, good. It's out of Lunar Blessings at long last. Go Ultra Ball. I don't know what happens when a Pokemon runs out of power points in this game. I don't want to find out on a legendary fight. Woo! You obtained the Dread Plate. Why do the Psychic type have the Dread Plate? A stone tablet imbued with the essence of darkness. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the dark type. Well, well, this is unexpected. Instead of a lunar feather, you got some kind of plate. I do feel power emanating from it, though. In any case, if Chrysalia did not gift us with any of her feathers, then I suppose she had not uh, thought we had no need of them. Not bad at all, Grunt, though I suppose anyone with enough luck to the best the great Melly should be able to handle at least that much. But thinking about it, a halfway competent person like you might actually make a decent sparring partner to help my lord and I grow stronger still. I'll go back to the settlement and tell the others about the feathers that we didn't get. <laughs> Based on Kogita's hints, there seem to be two more plates. All right. Lake of Lakes or Snow Point? We'll end where we'll begin with the first... Well, technically, Manaphy was the first one, but... Because I don't... Yeah, there shouldn't be a lake here. Cresselia was mean. She kept healing while we were fighting. At least that should boost up most of her... Hey, see this Pokemon's moves thing. 
Yep, it completed itself because we saw her use freaking Lunar Blessing ten times! Which means because she used Agile Moon uh, Lunar Blessing quite a few times, that it's a 15 PowerPoint move! Oh! Dear God, if they ever give a... Uh, you know, it'd be kind of interesting if you could move some Pokemon Arceus Pokemon into a mainline game. I shudder, but it would be interesting. To the Ice Peak Camp, because we're going to... Hey, we can do two of things at once. We'll go to the Snow Temple, and then the lake. That's right outside the Snow Temple. And then there's still the guy that's like, Please, for the love of God, let my balloon race take hold. And I say no. No balloon race, my man. Are you all, all upset that your statue got blued up by Palkia? I would imagine you'd at least be a little bit angry. I know I am. Palkia destroyed my great and wondrous everything, yes. And Eevee still doesn't want to evolve. I knew that there would be something about the underground here. That extra diddly D. I just need to make sure that to always swap off. But we need to be careful if Richie Gigas keeps its ability from the games. It's gonna be a right bastard to get beat. Again, and that's assuming that this is Reggie Gigas and not Reggie Ice, Reggie Steel, and Reggie uh, Rock all at once. Not in a row, at once. I shudder in fear because I don't want to kill them. I have lots of plates. Will you open for me, Reggie Gigas? Because that looks like Reggie Gigas' torso face. Beep bloop phone. Oh, wouldn't you have expected to run up to you up here, Neon? What are you up to? I'm here fighting gods. So you're here to try and find the secrets lurking in Snowpoint Temple, aren't you? That's why I'm, what my clairvoyance told me. You t do tend to get mixed up in all kinds of strange goings on, Neon. This door here, well, they say behind it slips a Pokemon so great it could tow around the entirety of the continents that lie in the south. No matter what we do, this door just won't seem to open. I have a I have a phone. Lol. The stone plate, iron plate, and icicle plate you're characterizing. Oh! That makes sense. They stand in for the Reggies. Well, oh, I guess they went ahead of me. At least I'm glad that I didn't mess up a puzzle somewhere and can't no longer go forth. Of course, there's Graveler down here. Graveler are like rats in this world. And a Glalie. Neat. Okay, and this is the meeting of the Brazongs. Oh! I thought you'd be bigger. But then again, having a continent-sized Pokemon in a small building would be a bit difficult. Well, what in the name is that? What in time is that thing? It's colossal! Palkia is bigger. It sure seems to be a Pokemon, but let's see what my clairvoyance has to say. <laughs> yep, definitely a Pokemon! My clairvoyance showed me a vision of it in motion! Okay, Reggie Gigas. My dear. My first event Pokemon. From back in Pokemon Platinum. I'm kind of disappointed it doesn't sound like the anime. <laughs> okay, nice! It's just a straight up fight! Is slow get going? It does have its ability! Oh no! Hydro pump! Hydro pump! How 
did you miss? It's slow to get going because it's going to kick your ass, spatial rent! Yeah, because here's the thing. The longer that the fight goes, the more powerful that Regigigas gets. We do not want him getting powerful. Even though it already feels like he's already powerful. Aqua Tail. And heal. Frickin' Giga Impact. Hmm. Aqua, uh, Agile Aqua Tail just to be safe. And, uh, please don't die, Palkia. Because, uh, Go Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Mega Ball, Reggie Ball. Well, if it's an angry Pokemon, it's the first one to do that in the game. Oh no. Bye bye, Palkia. Get out there and tank. All right, since we can go twice in a row and we don't want to uh, deal any more damage. Go Ultra Ball. You're gonna escape again, aren't you? Yep. Aha, you missed! I... Finally gets its act- Oh, no. Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball! Get in the box! Get in the box! Please? Angry Giant God Pokemon? I don't want to damage you anymore! Okay, that's not much. And that's not much either. Huzzah! It was more scary when it was using Giga Impact. I don't want to damage you anymore! Any more potential damage might kill you, and I don't have False Swipe equipped! Probably primarily because False Swipe is a terrible move to have when you're going up against gods. Get in the goddamn ball. Why? I don't think I have a move that would not kill you. There's like no effect and then just normal. And I don't want to kill you. Get in ball. Are you secretly, secretly broken too, like the damn Cheerum, and you just literally can't be caught? Because I believe it at this point. Because this is getting stupid. Because I don't want to do a damaging move against you, you bastard. Let's try a different ball. How about a Gigaton Ball? Okay, he wanted a Gigaton Ball. That's good. Great. Thank you. I was just- I was afraid that it might have been glitched. I was getting slowly afraid. It's like, please don't be glitched glitch like Cheerum. You obtained the Blank Plate. Blank Plate, a stone tablet imbued of the essence of normalcy. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the normal type. Now that was one solid Pokemon. Like a giant born of the very Earth. I guess this is just part of your job with the Survey Corps, huh? What kind of Pokemon is the one you just caught, Neon? Hmm? I can't wait to see it in Pokedex when it's done. Yeah, I'm pretty... Bleh. I'm pretty curious to read everything Mr. Professor writes up, too. 
See you, Neon. We should do another chase sometime. And now all that's left is the lakes. Based on Kogito, there's one more plate to find. Let's see. Reggie Gigas. We saw it use Giga Impact a decent amount of times, yep. Honestly, that might actually... Funny that we didn't see it use any strong type. But yay! Reggie Gigas, my first event legendary, is now part of the team! I think I got Reggie Gigas at a Toys R Us event for Pokemon. Funnily enough, speaking of event Pokemon, I remember somewhat recently, last month, watching a Pokemon by Pika Spry, I believe his channel name is, going over various, like, uh, like, I really like his, uh, soft locking series, where he so creates, at first the series was asking the audience for insipid, terrible ideas of how to break the game, like, uh, leaving yourself with a Pokemon in a certain area and making it so that you can't, uh, escape that area with that Pokemon, making the game unprogressionable. And then he began making his own terrifying soft locks. But, uh, the video that I'm talking about was- or that started this train of thought is he also did a video that went over, uh, the long-lost event Pokemon carts because, uh, Event Pokemon had to get from the uh, Nintendo to the people somehow. And usually they were done like different ways, like either a cart that was special and only done, uh, that had just boxes and boxes of Pokemon that were done with a normal trade. All right, let's head in. Yo, Yuxi, I think. I'm here to catch you. I'm here for a plate, actually. Ready to battle? Ooh, music. Probably should have rested, but let's go. Pretty solid bumping music right now. Good, it's going agile. That could kill, maybe. Okay, no. Oh, now th that extra bit going is great. I'm gonna try a Gigaton Ball right now! Surprise! You put- uh, you kinda made him drowsy? I'm gonna hit you with a giant ball! Oh, that worked. There are two more lake Pokemon left to be caught. I like this. And here I thought they were like, oh well, I guess we can't catch the lake Pokemon be- Oh, now I'm getting hit in my feels, because what if the reason that, uh, oh, hey, there's a new request over there. Let's go grab it. Because, like, at first I thought that, like, we can't be the one to catch the lakes Pokemon, because they need to be around for, uh, the main games. But uh, it could just be that years and years later, I, the great hero of this era, die, and all the legendary Pokemon disperse back to what they were doing before. Hello, Neon. I was just to go find you and tell you about this precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious, Tantalized? I am curious. As you should be. There isn't a single person in all of Vast Husui who has, uh, wouldn't be interested in treasure. The Pearl Clan's treasure. But bef anyway, before I show you, can you guess what I want to show you? You want to battle? Exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours, like what you did to pow atop Mount Coronet. Now, give me one moment. I need to center myself. Mm -hmm. 
But since all the legendary Pokemon are ones that kind of originated around the Sinnoh Age of Pokemon, I really hope they do other generations of Pokemon in Pokemon Legends style. I would love it. I would love a Johto where we go about during the Age of the Two Towers and the burning down of the uh, one tower could be a plot point. My partners and I are going to get stronger and travel across this wide world. Go Palkia! I should have returned, uh, did a different Pokemon, but oh well. Oh hey, you leveled up into an Espeon! Oh! Yay, I healed up! But who's, uh, let's see, who's stronger? 64, let's see. Spatial Rend, the Glaceon! You know what would be cool? If, uh... Adamant and uh, Irida traveled the world uh, together and uh, were like travel companions. Why are you going twice? Why can't I go once? You're going, you went three times! Bastard! You cheated! You went multiple super billion times before I even got a chance. Oh, what? All because Flareon was just like, I'm going Agile style. Why? Well, I guess I could just annihilate the Glaceon for what it did and then revive Palkia when we're uh, down to only one po- Why did you survive? Bastard. That's shenanigans. Shenanigans that it survived and shenanigans that they went so fucking far. How dare you, game? Let them go so many times in a row. Let me send out Pokemon in a row. Oh, I forgot. Oh, never mind. Interesting. It would be nice if I could have a turn. Shadow Claw the Glaceon. Get it out of here. And my luck with useless critical hits continues. Crunch! Now we have to revive two Pokemon. You're very mean. I have to do this so that they get uh, the experience from battle. Because fainted Pokemon do not get experience. Oh, hey. I get to uh, heal twice. For no real reason, it seems. That won't save you, you know. That also won't save you. Spark ground type. Use Outrage! What do you think of that, Irida? I wonder, Neon, are there people even stronger than you out in the world with Pokemon stronger than yours? Maybe. Maybe in another world. I'll just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, the treasure I promised you. Lustrous Globe. Lustrous Globe. When used on Palkia, this large glowing orb wells of power and allows the Pokemon to change form. I'm told this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to the almighty sin, er, uh, uh, the mighty Palkia, I mean. And since pa mighty Palkia is with you now, I'll entrust the lustrous orb to you, too. 
Thank you, Neon, for everything. So I guess that's just a normal thing? Lustre... I guess let's use it and see. Then he became the horse, I guess. Oh, I, w I meant... Okay, that's interesting. I kind of meant, expected for it to be like, Oh, you used it, and we put it back in the box. Alright, check summary. Yeah, now he's horse Palkia. And he's water dragon. Still. All right, let's see. 303, 175. Just get a general sense of the stats. Because what does the form change do? Which means we get to see Dialga's alternate form. If we went with the Pearl Clan to be our buddy buddies. Nah. It just seems to be a, a, a form change. Ha. Huh, that's kind of disappointing. But, away we go now. I guess we'll go and do the Meyerlands one next. Yep, I caught Reggie Gigas and Yuxi. I get paid 2,000 Pokebucks for catching legendary Pokemon left and right. <laughs> <laughs> we maxed out. You. We didn't fight you as long, so we'll have to use you in battle some. Return to the village. Yeah, we'll go to the Myerla Myers Land. Uh, I guess beat some sense into Adamant. And uh, then catch... Uh, what's his name? I forget there. <laughs> you want some more scorpions? No, I don't want more scorpions. I don't want scorpions! Get out of my house! Scorpions are bad! I have to see. I have to see something. Okay, good. Because I was reading a chat. Just one of the discords that I'm in. And for a moment, like, either I'm missing something where they translate the unknown text directly. Because, like, surely not. That's part of the, that's the point. Hmm. Nope, it doesn't translate. At least for me. Maybe I need to update my game. In fact, hmm. For, for the funsies, we'll, uh, well, I guess we'll go to that request, because there's nothing at the, well, we'll just teleport. We'll teleport. How dare you, stupid rocks. I want to teleport. Why are there so many rocks? I keep forgetting. That's not the pause button. All right, but let's see what that, uh, that is. It'll probably be Adamant. At the lake. If we can even see anybody in this goddamn fog. Hello, Adamant. Hey, if it isn't Neon, good timing. I found some treasure you'd be interested in. Did that make your ears perk up? Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Yeah, I'm curious. That's the Survey Corps spirit. Curiosity is what moves science forward, according to good old Mr. Professor. But come to think of it, what I've found seems too valuable to just let you in on it for free. You'll need to work for it. Combat time. Here's the deal. I want you to show me what's, uh, what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. You got it, Adamant. <laughs> then it's on. Time to see what you've got. Here I come. Knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan. Go, Dialga! Your god shall battle you. Hmm. 
Honestly, that one's the most dangerous. Get rid of it! Your god has gotten rid of your friends. Well, that's kind of scary. That's not that scary. Annihilate the leap. Why do you go twice? Why do you go twice? I really need to look at the turn order more carefully. Roar of time! My Dialga is just too strong. Roar of time, my lord. How did you miss? That is an impressive Umbreon. Try as you might. Roar of time! Erase it from history! I love these battles. Sorry to say, Adamant, Irida put up a better fight, but then I used Palkia to fight her, so... I don't think it's really one-to-one. -one. You're really something. And I'm a man of my word, so here's the treasure. Adamant Crystal. Adamant Crystal. When used on Dialga, this large glowing gem wells with power and allows the Pokémon to change form. They used to, this used to be my grandfather's. He said it was somehow related to the Almighty Sin... I mean to Dialga. So now that I've put you through the ringer a little, it seems right to give it to you, since you're the one who caught mighty Dialga. You know, I ought to tell you. I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon. Another way to relate with the world. Thanks, Adamant. Time started to move faster for Hisui when you arrived. I feel a big change is coming. Even to the very humans and he Pokemon relate. He didn't even heal up my Pokemon. Well, at least I'm not going to actually, like, use the Roar of Time on uh, Azelf. Dialga gets all the good shit. But let's see. What is Dialga's alternate form? If we chose... Palkia, the Pearl Clan, to be our ally through the end, what would Palkia Dialga turn into? Oh, that's kind of creepy. Let's, uh, uh, can we not go, uh, at least, uh, hmm. Maybe if we go to the... Yeah, we get to see their alternate forms, goddammit. Motions and cries. So weird that he kind of stole Arceus's look here. Origin form. Is that implying that that's what he used to look like? And then... Yeah, they just kind of steal their father's look a bit. Even though it looks super weird. Preferred foods, none. 1,874 pounds. But... We have a lake trio to quell. Honestly, after this, I have half of half a thing to finish up Pokemon Blue Rescue Team and head straight, straight to Platinum. Fight me. I hmm. entail. Nice. Ultra Ball, go! Even though we don't get to listen to the music as much, which is a crime. Your challenges were harder than f actually catching you. But that could be just them letting us catch them to a degree. Because I already went and beat them up a bit. I don't even say thanks. I just roll up and go, hey. 
But okie doke. With that out of the way, one more to go. The one that was in our first land. The Obsidian Land. I caught another Lake Trio. You know, coming back with a legendary Pokemon should really warrant more money. I'm just saying. And it did. Once again, why do we want to see it you self destruct? My, a legendary Pokemon that is said to be the origin of willpower. I want to see it to blow up, Dr. Laventon says, presumably. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell all the Comet Shards that we got, so I highly doubt that we'd faint all our Pokemon to the final Lake Trio, but you, you never know. You never know. You can't tell with this game. This game is uh, can destroy you in a moment. And then we'll catch all the- get the plate from... Oh, what's its name? Keep forgetting that I can't actually... Bibbidi bop. For some reason, I'm like, I go there and select the camp because... I don't remember the camp's names. Or even their order sometimes. But yeah, so far... This post game is pretty interesting, especially the part where we actually fought Kamado again. Fighting Kamado again was a highlight. Kind of wish there was more questing to get to some of the legendary Pokemon, maybe like the Seas Legend to a degree. Since uh, Dialga was super helpful of uh, catching Azelf. Let us see how well it's good at catching this one, but I forget its name already because I'm dumb. I'm here to catch you. Go, Dialga! Mesprit, Azel, Yuxi, and Mesprit. Well, it only makes sense. Your god says no. Why do you go twice? The mission statement said only once. Iron Tail. It looks more like you step on him. Alright. One more Iron Tail. Alright. The Mesprit is just a god at dodge. Iron Tail. Perfect. Fuck. Flash Gym. Or no, I mixed up Flash Cannon and the Diddly Diddly D. All right. Go, Ultra Ball. It was looking at me, so it didn't see the ball coming. It's perfect. There we go. Lake Trio caught. You attained the Draco Plate. Draco Plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of dragons. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the dragon type. Mission accomplished. You have gathered the plates and re related to each of the stories Kogita told you about. You should head back to Kogita's retreat. But then that still remains. What's that other last, uh, diddly cave about? The one that requires Sneasler to get all the way up to the top of a mountain in Cobalt Coastland. Is that where we're gonna meet God? <laughs> And darn it, the other uh, extra sensory isn't a part of the uh, Pokedex research. Return to the village.
Because surely, I wonder uh, if there's going to be any more Blackboard jobs. No, not yet. Well, seems to be most everything. Of course, there's now an Eevee breakout. But I think I have all the Eevee, like, barely enough all the Eevee Eevees that I need. I have all the plates! Why do you have a bunch of... garlic hanging above your door? Do you fear vampires? Do you believe in vampires? I have caught all gods, all powerful creatures, and gathered the plates. Don't know why a Vespaquin had one. But hey, uh... Kamado had one as well, so who, who's to say? Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Of course. Neon is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. So what more can you tell us? We're so close now. You must know more about the plates. If there's yet more you want to know, kindly bring me wood. Three logs will do. Wood? So you're saying wood is somewhat tied to the plates. Well, I suppose that's what we ha ha we get to learn next. Hop to it, Neon. While it shames me to admit, merchant that I am, I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Do I have wood? I don't. I only, uh... I've been putting away a lot of wood, so... I should have... Uh, wood in my stores. Because I only put away... Uh, like, made... I have exactly as much that I need. I have exactly as much as I need. Three wood! And here I almost uh, turned them all into pokey she dolls. Pokey she dolls when I needed money during the main story exile. If there's yet, three logs will do. Have you gathered three logs? Here you go. Hand it over the three logs of wood. Oh, yes, this certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal. What, pray tell us, is the secret behind this wood? Secret? Your expectations need tempering, I fear. This wood is merely for fashioning myself new cutting boards. C cutting boards? You mean for cooking? cooking? The plates we're after aren't dinner plates, so this is hardly a time for cooking. How you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment. Poor Ginter of the Ginkgo Guild must have his hands full with you. But honest work earns honest pay. Here you are, a reward for the wood you've brought me. The Fairy Plate! Pixie Plate, a stone tablet imbued of the essence of fairies. When used on a certain Pokemon, it allows that Pokemon to gain the power of the fairy type. That's one of the plates we were looking for! <laughs> Apologies, that's indeed one of the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Yes, this does look rather like one of the plates you've been tracking down. Wow, the engravings upon it made it less than accommodating as a cutting board. Whatever ingredients crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant flavor. Perhaps that was the board's power. The plate's power, I mean. Well, no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? Well, we've managed to collect quite a few plates by now, but I still don't know what we're to do with them exactly. It's just a hunch, but perhaps we should have a look around the Celestica Ruins? Those ruins contain statues of both Dialga and Palkia, AND THE BROKEN REMAINS OF Giratina. <laughs> they might hold more secrets. I see a fine pretext to continue shirking your mercantile duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you, then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. The Celestica Ruins, Neon. I'll see you there. Go now. To the Celestica Ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find. What can, what can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? Because Giratina has to be something. Okay, now that we have all the plates, let's read all the plates. In somewhat order of getting. Oh, nope, I can't use, use them. Read text. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin. It gathers power from the plates, listening for the flute's song. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. The powers of plates are shared among Pokemon. 
The power of defeated giants infuses this plate. The rightful bearer of a plate draws from the plate it holds. The rulers of time and space change within the opposite world. The third being raged, raining down bolts of anger, Giratina. The being poured the remains of its power into stone and buried it deep. Two beings of time and space set free the original one. The rift is born of disorder on the other side of this world. That which fills the other side of the world can shape the rage and mold it. Hey, that's me! Okay, let's read these again. The rift is born of disorder on the other side of this world. This is tied! This is definitely tied to the main game. Disorder on the other side of the- on the rift- Let's read it again. The rift is born of disorder on the other side of this world. The other side of this world was Cyrus trying to create a world of his own. He created the rift in time and space, and then that which fills the other side of the world can shape the rage and mold it. Maybe that's me, because I'm from the other side. Two make matter, and three make spirit, shaping the world. Time, space, and then the, uh, the lake trio. Three beings whose power can hold both time and space fixed. I don't know about that one. Still, I assume... Well, time and space fixed, I guess, Garatina and Palkia and Dialga. Three beings were born to bind time and space. Uh, that's the lake trio, probably. The original one is in all things. The original one is nowhere at all. He's in my phone, though! He's in my phone! He sends me text messages. And for a moment, I was thinking, are we gonna get a cutscene? Nope. To the summit camp, because I have to go to the Celestica Ruins. The music's gone, so I assume we're gonna get a cutscene? Nope. Sadness. Oh, I don't even need to do that. But yeah, he's gonna look at the Giratina statue. Frickin' Giratina deserves more! Yeah, this is Giratina, my dude. Have a look at this, Neon. This statue has been kept here, far from the statues of Dialga and Palkia. Broken and shattered, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I think so. It looks like uh, the remains of Giratina. Of course you would. You're the greatest wielder of Pokemon this land knows. The one who could bring low even Dialga and Palkia. The crumbling statue once was the figure of a Pokemon, one that was equal to both Dialga and Palkia, yet banished from our world. The great Pokemon Giratina! It was banished for its violence, left to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs in defiance and tear down Arceus itself. Now tell me, if this Giratina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus, where do you think it might appear? Mount Coronet. Exactly! Where one is closer to the heavens than any other place in Hisui, and where the space-time rift first opened. <laughs> I can feel it. We're getting closer to uncovering the secrets of this world. I dare say the excitement is loosening my lips more than it should, but... You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking... I couldn't help but wonder why life was so unfair, why I was cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends, in history, in ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be, and with that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. 
Volo, are you Cyrus in disguise? Are you actually Cyrus's de ancient descendant ancestor? Now, if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of our world and meet the creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps then we'll be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you want to see it with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at the Mount Coronet's Peak. Dialga and Palkia both appeared from within the rift that once gaped open there, didn't they? If these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that this, that, is where it would appear. Okay. <laughs> he was acting kind of creepy there for a moment. Dang it, I... I have... Volo, please don't be a villain. I like you. You're a decent man. You're not too super insane. Hopefully. Hey, I'm walking here. If I remember correctly, that scene from whatever movie it was, I'm not a movie buff, the I'm walking here scene, uh, actually was ad lip because he actually almost got hit. This is Stone Portal. I've been told not to anyone past, but really I'm not sure what the point is. I think you could go ask for me. Kind of funny that he hasn't changed any. I think I missed... <laughs> Ow. But I wonder what these mean. What these mean. As hieroglyphs, as the dude says. <laughs> because unknown, these are not. Unknown runes, they are not. Here we are, Stone Pillar once more. Still sad that the statues were destroyed. Here we are again. The temple lies in ruins now, columns cracked and broken, like pillars now turned into spears, Stabbing into the heavens. Well, I detect a distinct lack of Giratina. Hmm, is something bothering you? I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must seem to be behaving strangely. I dare say you deserve to know what I really... Uh, what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there has been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? It was in an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Giratina and had to tear open that rift in space-time. You op- You? You opened the space-time rift? But how did it open once before? Maybe the, the original tear was... him being banished? After all, Giratina wished to stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. So then I had you gather the fragments of the all-encompassing deity, just as the murals of the ruins directed. Eighteen plates, said to be the fragments of the all-encompassing deity. You hold in your hands seventeen of them, so you must be wondering, where's the last one? Why, it's here, right here. <laughs> Who are you? Actually, who are you? Now hand over the plates you gathered. I will be the one to bring them all together! My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is! I must know what it is! If I can meet Arceus myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power! And using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world! Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this Hisui region that we currently exist in will be undone and return to nothing. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokémon living here will vanish in an instant as if you'd never been! If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle! 
Not that you have a choice. Even if you don't wish to battle me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. Okay, he did go insane. Pokemon wielder Volo challenged you to battle. He has a spirit tomb. Well, that's not good. And he has six Pokemon, too. Roar of Time! Okay. <laughs> Purple Fire Kitty called this. He has a Lucario, but a Lucario is meant to be honor bound and nice. Oh. Well, that's not good at all. Who do I have that's good at destroying? Spyro, get out here and burn this Lucario to the ground. Well, that's not good. Flamethrower! Now I can go twice. Thank you, Volo. It's the classic... It's one of the classic trainer battle themes. Kind of remixed. Spyro, you're probably gonna get annihilated on this upcoming. Hey, you evolved. That's nice. It's a fairy type, so it's gonna kill all my dragons. Dialga, I require you. It might try to destroy you decently. But would you kindly kill it? Power gem. Well, that's not good. He's gonna go again. Great, he's smart. Or mean. Probably both. But luckily... Palkia, destroy him. Spatial Rend! Aqua Tail, save your spatial rins. This music is great. Will it actually damage? Well, yeah, it's grass type. Maybe. Earth power. Darn it. Going to go for the kill. And it got it, too. Should have used Agile. And here I am, still with an Eevee. I have more max restores than, uh, nor uh, or max revives than normal revives. Go ahead and revive them. And depending how strong... Okay. I'll go ahead and revive Spyro. He probably won't be used much for the remainder of this fight. 
because we're down to two Pokemon for you, Volo, you absolute madman. I'm surprised you didn't try to use that before. Regardless. Brave bird, don't give it a chance. The music is so interesting. Of course I might kill you, this next Pokemon, if it goes first. It's most definitely going to kill you. Because it's a fire rock type. I believe. Well, I'm going to go ahead and revive. Well, Max revives. I have more of, so bring Robin back. Hydro Pump. I, I should have thought Volo was kind of crazy, but oh well. <laughs> Why? Why you? Why do you have the blessing of Arceus? I have his phone number. Why? How? I've devoted myself to Arceus beyond any other. I worshipped it as a creator of our entire world. I've built all my passion and interest to its study. Everything, oh, all that time I've spent poring over the legends. Everything that I've done! You outsider. It's almost as if you were spat out of the space-time rift just to get in my way! <laughs> no. No, this isn't finished yet. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins. The Eldred's presence. I seen your heart. Giratina, Giratina, my boy, my baby. Is there gonna be another space-time rift? We just closed it today. <laughs> But my baby! My boy! Hello, Giratina! It's gonna eat you, you know. Giratina! Strike her down! Hopefully I get to capture you! Giratina's filled with terrible might! Oh. Oh, I can't throw Pokeballs! Oh, or can I? Okay, I can throw Pokeballs, I just can't... Oh, there, uh, I can't swap on the menu for some reason. Roar of Time! Robin, get out here. We need to whittle him down. Huh. Oh. But I want to do normal, uh, agile anyway, to buy us a bit more leeway. And now... Use! There is no choice but to win this battle. Ah, oh, fine. Brave Bird! Oh crap, he lived. That's disturbing. Psycho Cutter. 
God damn. Bye bye, Robin. I think you're dead. Come on, Robin. Psycho Cutter! But I wanted my baby boy! But I can't capture my baby boy! Oh. Oh. Round two! Bye, Robin. Okay. Zack, you need to buy time. Max Restore. Dialga! Alright. Aura Sphere! Oh, what? I couldn't see, because my brightness is too high on my TV. I thought it said it was super effective. My bad. I'm dumb. Round two. Never mind. Maybe. Let's do it. Roar time! Well, let's see. Can we capture you now that you're in full form? No use but to win this battle. And Palkia. Spatial Rend! Round three? Can I catch you now? My boy, I want to capture you! Turning tail and running from this beauty human! Pathetic! I was the one to feed you the power you needed so that you could take on Arceus! I was the one who gave you the chance to glow up in that space-time rift, driving the deity of space and deity of time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding! How? How could this happen? Almighty Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me! The blood of the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it then that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying this ache to know. Answer me then, Neon. Do you have some dream that propels you as I've had? I do. So you do. Doubtless that dream of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like me. I'm the great wielder of Pokemon, and you, you battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path, the plate I once received from Giratina. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost to you. You received the spooky plate from Volo. Spooky plate, a stone tablet imbued with the essence of po uh, with the essence of ghosts. When used on a certain Pokémon, it allows that Pokémon to gain the power of the ghost type. I wanted to catch Giratina. Maybe at a later date. <gasps> Maybe that cave. Ooh. I suppose now you've gathered all the plates said to exist in this land of Hui Hisui. Huh? My flute! My 
flute's getting strong! What? The Celestica flute transformed into the... The Azure flute! That's right! That's right! Wasn't there for one generation of Pokemon? There's a generation of Pokemon I that I believe has an Arceus statue in the main game. And once upon a time, there was supposed to be an event for that mainline Pokemon game to have the Azure Flute given out. Much like in Generation 3, there's like the faraway map, then these like uh, tickets to send you to various islands to capture Pokemon. It would be similar to that. The Azure Flute was a... Uh, a key item that was hidden in the code of a generation of mainline Pokemon games, but never used because it was supposed to be an event item to allow you to encounter Arceus. So that's, that's it. The Azure Flute. <laughs> it comes to you. So Arceus wishes to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Gah, I have no desire to watch from the sidelines as Arceus comes to you. And absolutely cannot accept a world in which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle of the legends of Hisui's Pokemon. And one that day, I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it! No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. <laughs> Well, he was still kind of crazy in the end. The Deified Pokemon. Seek out all the Pokemon that are to meet, then play your flute. So... You have obtained the Azure Flute, which is said to be the key to meeting Arceus, the Pokemon spoken of in ancient myths. What will happen when you play it? Seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet. So, the answer could be... Let's see, let me check my Pokemon. Yeah, all well, my Pokemon is still down for the count. So, it's entirely possible that I could meet Arceus now, but I doubt it. Arceus is probably, most likely, a... Bibbidi-bop. Well, there's only one way to know if I ever get Garatina. Number caught. We can catch Arceus. Wait, I was looking at Giratina. Me dumb. We can catch Giratina. So, at the very least, it seems that I don't have to actually catch all the Pokemon. I just need to meet them. And I think I've already met most of the Pokemon, if not all of them. It's possible I might have missed some. But let's see, actually. Uh, I'm not sure... I Yeah, from the looks of it, I probably haven't met all the Pokemon there are to meet in each area. Maybe I've met... No, I'm not sure from the scene. I'm gonna try, though. I'm gonna try and see if I can play my flute, the Azure Flute. More than likely, I won't be able to actually call Arceus. But hey, would you like to play the Azure Flute? Am I worthy of you, Arceus? Are there yet Pokemon I have yet to meet? This music. Nothing seems to happen. Yep, nothing happened. We still have Pokemon to meet. A message appeared on the Arc Phone. Seek out all Pokemon. Yep. Well... It'll be a long thing of grinding. But I do believe that... What has come is time for... 
the time has come for me to take a break from streaming Legends Arceus, because I've done pretty... well, maybe. Let's see. I'll probably have to jump about from place to place, maybe. Let's see. Can we zoom in on places to see if there are any... Yeah, we can zoom in to see if there are new requests. But it doesn't seem like there are new requests anywhere except for the balloon guy. New request there. Okay. We'll see what the full moon, if there's a full moon. Moon view arena, my butt. All right, it doesn't like me climbing that side for some reason. But yeah, I need to meet more Pokemon. And then, which is probably going to be looking up a guide and comparing the guide to my Pokedex. <laughs> to be, Because I think we just have to seek out all Pokemon, not com... Uh, I don't think that's a full moon. That does not appear to be a full moon, but I'm going to go see what the lake has to say, or the spring has to say anyway, just in case. And because uh, I don't, because like, if I don't do the Clefairies now, I'll probably end up just going saying screw it and doing it on my own time. Like I said, probably not full moon. Come back when the full moon is out. Darn you, fireman. But hopefully, maybe, maybe... To nightfall, again, and then we need to wait for the moon to rise. So I can properly see. But hey, that was a lot of fun. While we wait for the moon to rise again and again, I'll go over my thoughts of the overall story there. Because it, I think it was really cool. It was really cool how all of the legendaries were included into the story at the end. Kind of uh, disappointed that Volo was a super crazy, but we had to have a Cyrus XP in here somewhere. And honestly, I would have been more disappointed if Silene was the, uh, the Cyrus XP. Like, obviously, she is visu visibly meant to be a red herring for Cyrus, who would later go on to, in the Sinnoh games, say, I want to remake the worlds and seek out the power of the lake Pokemon and Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina to remake the world. So, I guess it kind of makes sense that the one most obsessed with the plates would be the one to want to remake the world. So, yeah, at least they made him an interesting character. But, yeah, this really makes me want to play Pokemon Platinum. So, what I'll probably do... Just uh, kind of spitball ideas here. What I'll probably do is complete Kingdom Hearts. Uh, oh, yeah. Bleh. This game has absorbed my life so much, and I've wanted to do grinding for this game. I've completely neglected gathering all the necessary things to do poke, uh, the Kingdom Hearts super bosses. At this point, I'm kind of, uh, I, I'm pondering if I should just cancel that idea, beat Kingdom Hearts, Final Mix, and then just, like, get a move on. Moon. Oh, there's the moon. Not a full moon at all. We. Oh, I killed myself. I didn't know you could fall from fall, uh, you could fall. I didn't know you could die from fall damage. Nothing of value was lost, really. 
In that case, somebody mugged me. Because I died right next to a camp. <laughs> but. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think I might just finish Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Do away with the idea to do all of the super bosses because Kingdom Hearts 1 combat system doesn't really interest me. I'll do Sephiroth, I guess, and then the main end uh, end the main story of Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And then I will dedicate myself to beating Pokemon Blue Rescue Team again. And then I'll need to decide what to do from there. More than likely, what I'll do... More than likely, what I'll do is start up another Pokemon game. Maybe Platinum. Maybe. Because how far away is Platinum? Honestly, all I think I have to do is Emerald and then I get to Platinum, so... Beat Pokemon, yeah, well, at the same time, there are the other, there are the other, like, uh, secondary Pokemon games, but this has, like, kicked my lust for Platinum and Overdrive, so I'll just have to do the other side Pokemon games, like Colosseum and Gale of Darkness, another time. I'll dedicate myself to Emerald and then Platinum alongside uh, another game. Uh, probably finish off... Okay. Solid plan. Finish off Kingdom Hearts Final Mix in one more stream. I'll grind more on Hades Cup. And then we'll beat Sephiroth and then the main story. That should take one stream. Then I'll go dedicate myself to beating Pokemon Blue Rescue Team because we have been away from that for far too long and it is one of my favorite games. It's just this is brand new and I wanted to experience it in full. So yeah, beat, uh, beat Kingdom Hearts Final Mix while foregoing most of the super bosses because I kind of don't care about doing the super bosses anymore. Nobody really showed up for the Kingdom Hearts streams anyways. <laughs> so there's really no point to dedicating so much time because Kingdom Hearts, like the only reason that you do the super bosses for Kingdom Hearts Final Mix is if you want to be like, I defeated them, which I did once already. I platinumed on PlayStation 3 Kingdom Hearts 1. I already have the bragging rights. I don't want to do it again. Really. It's not something that really aches in my bones. And uh, if not that many people want to stop by to watch it, then there's no real point. Watching me suffer, is that's the entertainment. So we'll suffer the famous one, Sephiroth. And uh, maybe... Well, it depends. It depends on how hard getting the final Ansem pages will be. Ah, that's why. It's super waxed. Or waned, whichever. But, yeah. We'll, we'll most definitely fight Sephiroth. Maybe fight the mysterious stranger. Because I remember him being a nightmare. But yeah, Sephiroth guaranteed, then beat Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. And then I'll dedicate myself to Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. And probably get back into Age of Calamity and uh, do Age of Calamity's DLC. And uh, then from there, when, we, when I beat Pokemon Blue Rescue Team, I'll move on to Emerald and then Platinum. And after I beat Age of Calamity, I don't know what I'll do. Because Age of Calamity was kind of a spur-of-the-moment thing. So it became a three-way, hmm, which game should I play? Pokemon game, Age of Calamity, or... Uh, le uh, Kingdom Hearts. So I'll probably take a break from Kingdom Hearts. I'll continue on my Pokemania after I beat Pokemon Blue Rescue Team. And, uh, after I beat Age of Calamity's DLC, I'll have to think about what other thing to do. I'll have to ponder the diddly-dee-da-diddly-doo. 
Because there are a ton of games that I kind of want to stream. So... We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see what catches my fancy. Wait and see, like, what game that I like. I want to beat this game. We could return to Jade Empire. We could return to Jade Empire. Okay, so that's an idea. After we beat Kingdom Hearts Final Mix, Jade Empire will be thrown back onto the list of immediately available to play games. And then we'll probably go back to alternating between two games after we... <laughs> yeah, it's just like, my I, Kingdom Hearts kind of lost me for a bit. Pokemania took over, which kind of really threw the schedule for, uh, for hell. And then me just going, I kind of want to play Age of Calamity. Really did my schedule no favors. So yeah. Beat Kingdom Hearts Final Mix while doing at least Sephiroth. Complete Age of Calamity's DLC, and continue Pokemania. Those are the goals on this stream. And uh, eventually, after I complete the Pokedex, I guess, or get near completing the Pokedex or something, I will return to Arceus. Yeah, basically I'll just uh, uh, do a bunch of Pokedex stuff. Unlock researches to do, if at all possible. Where's the damn moon? Where's the moon? I should have risen by now. Am I dumb? Am I blind? I think I'm dumb. Or maybe it's behind the clouds. Or maybe it's just uh, not shining at all. Well... One last chance to gaze upon me. Moon. Moon says no. Good night, Moon. This must look really weird to you. Go to Nightfall. I want the full moon. I want the diddly dang full moon. This is the most RNG request. Stupid Canto Man. I want to know if Clefairy danced on the night of the full moon. Well, go look for yourself then. Tell me when the full moon comes out. But yeah. Back to my rambling about stream schedules. Beat Kingdom Hearts, beat the DLC for Age of Em uh, Age of Empires. Yeah, my favorite Hyrule Warriors game. Uh, Age of Calamity. We'll throw Jade Empire back onto the bracket, and then uh yeah, we'll alternate between a Pokemon game and Jade Empire until we beat Jade Empire. Uh, because I highly doubt Jade Empire would take so long that. I would get through all the Pokemon games I want to get through before Jade Empire. Where the hell is the moon? I want to wake up and at nightfall. You know, and it is not night. Because for God's sakes, I have seen the moon in the sky at like 5 p.m. before. It was just that the sun was out, the sky was blue. Where the hell is the moon? Let me see the moon! Ah! Where is the moon? Where is the moon? First you take the moon, then you take the sun. 
And something something gun. I'm just annoyed. Moon. 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 Okay, fuck this. Clefairy is now an off-stream mission. Because fuck this. If the moon isn't going to come the fuck out and let me actually see... WHY?! If I should just jump back in to skip time. Or maybe this is a punishment made by a stupid Japanese man that's like, Well, if we just have people going to sleep at the rest retreat again and again and again and again, well, that's not really in the nature of it. So you have to start a new expedition, and then every single, and then a few times of go to nightfall, you will lose your ability to dilly do. It's like I don't know. Fuck this. I leave. I have other missions to do. Like I think I have like one other mission to do. Z go find Zeke in the Alabaster Snowlands because he's an idiot. Oh, story things. Neon! Hey, Neon! Have you heard? There's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in the Cobalt Coast lands. And then just vanished without a trace. Neon, my girl, you must tell me. You went to the Temple of Sinnoh at Volo, correct? What exactly happened? Well, he's a crazy guy. He wanted to reshape the world. I beat his ass. I beat up Giratina. I see. In that case, the shadow in the Cobalt Coast lands may be none other than Giratina, the Pokemon said to have once been banished to the reverse side of our world. I do believe this calls for a survey. The Cobalt Coastlands are pretty vast. I hope you have some idea where to look. I know exactly where to look. Okay, we're gonna go there, grab what other new requests there are. I'll do the Clefairy one off stream in its entirety because screw it, it doesn't deserve the time anymore. It's so stupid. Just let me reset the night until I get a full moon, please. Hey, Kogita. I've just been told that the foul plan Volo had concocted. Well, think no more of the scoundrel. Just another tale of passion burning too bright and consuming its bearer. That is what happens. And if you allow it to. But what of you? Are you making progress with your, what do you call your studies of Pokemon? Surveying, was it? Yeah, it's going all right. We have most, I think, of them. Indeed. Well, Hisui still holds more fascinating Pokemon. Shall I speak to you of one of them? Which Pokemon would you hear about? These guys are in the game? Okay, Tornadus. Ah, yes, Tornadus. In every direction it flies, stirring up tremendous storms as it goes. When a blizzard batters the Alabaster Ice Lands, Tornadus may be about. All right. How about Thunderous? Now thunderous, as it flies around, it fires bolts of lightning every which way. When a thunderstorm lashes the cobalt coastlands, thunderous may be about. And then landorous? The Pokemon hailed as the guardian of the fields. It seems it can be glimpsed in the obsidian field lands. Perhaps you'd be so good as to catch it for me. Shall I speak? I'm done, thanks. All right, so I can catch these guys now. No wonder I couldn't find Arceus. I know not wh why these three have chosen to show themselves. Perhaps the cause lies with the space-time rift, or simply with their own whims. I suppose their stirring up storms and casting bolts of lightning may cause you trouble aplenty, but nature has its need of such things. If you wish to know more, you'd best study this Pokemon yourself. When you've completed entries in your Pokedex for Landris, Tornadus, and Thunderous, come and speak to me. All right. I can do them. Any others? Nope, that was it for it. Alright, so, new mission. So we probably do go to 100. We probably do... Frickin' love 27. I thought there was only gonna be 20 at most, So, but it looks like there's gonna be 30. So yeah, screw the Clefairies. Uh... We'll go try and find Giratina. In the Cobalt Coast land. Because I think I know where it is. 
I'm gonna have to leave Eevee behind, because we... Well... Uh, since we're gonna be better off this time, wait. I need to probably buy some Max Revives. But wait, what does the last uh, tablet say? Spooky Plate. The other side of the world was given by the original one to its raging third. All right. So, well, let's take a look. 79... Hmm. From the looks of it... Thunder... From the looks of it, Thunderous, Tornadus, and Landorus seem to be the last ones for my Cobalt Coastland and Obsidian Fieldlands. So that way it can be 90 and 80. But I still need to find 3, 7, and 6 for the other ones. I think. I think, I think, I think. I'll buy 10 max revives because Giratina is probably not going to come quietly. All right, let's head to the Cobalt Coastlands. To the beachside camp. Because I know exactly where he's going to be. He's going to be hiding in that little cave. That's empty, that's been empty. And I thought it was going to be tied to the flying Pokemon. N uh, no, not the flying Pokemon. But I thought it was going to be uh, tied to the lake Pokemon. That after doing all the quests and stuff, that they would appear there for catching. No. No, no, no. It's for Giratina, after he threw a little fit and went into hiding. This cave right frickin' here. Fifty hours in, dear God. Now well, let's go, because I think he's gonna be here. I think, I think. Hello, Giratina. Found you again. Nah, nope, no getting behind me for you. Uh, getting behind you for me. You want to come with me, boy? I'll be a good trainer. Here we go. Love this opening chord bits. Iron Tail. We don't want him to get two... Never mind, he's going to get two moves anyway. Well, too bad. I have max potions. Iron Tail! You missed, didn't you? Rude. Max Power! Iron Tail! Again! How is he missing? Hit your brother! Be an actual sibling for once! I understand missing once in a while, but you are missing a fucking lot. What the hell?! Frickin' hit the bastard! 
You hit him once and you're just like, I'm gonna miss four times in a row. You don't get, you're going down, hit him finally. See, we could have been done a million years ago if you weren't such a stupid little idiot. See, maybe if I had faith in you, I would have healed you again. But you don't deserve healing after all your failure. Go, Ultrapool! I wonder if you'll be easier to catch than uh, Regigigas. Not be angry. Use Agile Earth Power. Don't kill him. Yeah, that'll work. How come he's hit every single one of his attacks, but you, frickin' Dialgo, are just like, I'm gonna miss all my attacks. Frickin' idiot. Get out here and be a tank. You're de- <laughs> The other two don't get to see the end of this fight because they're stupid. Gods of space and time and they fail as big as they did. Giratina's a good boy. He doesn't miss attacks. See, that could have been you. You too. But Dialga had to fuck it all up. You found something shiny where Giratina was. Ah, his uh, transformation core. Grisius Core. When used on Giratina, this large glowing gem wells of power and allows the Pokemon to change form. Woot woot! Woot kiss woot! The other two don't deserve reviving. They failed. I caught Giratina. You know, the devil of mythology, I caught him. Volo eventually returned and told me more about what happened at the Temple of Sinnoh. He said that Giratina, that it chose to protect the land of Isui after discovering it was no match for you. He said that we should study it and add it to the Pokedex. He wandered off after that, saying this was probably the last time we would meet, but I can't help but feel he's far more invested in our completion of the Pokedex than he would have us know. So is he like the Misfortune Sisters? He was actually a good guy, just testing us. I didn't actually want to destroy the world and make a new one. I just wanted to test you. By acting... I always wanted to be an actor, but no one believed me. But now I get to play the villain. What joy. Oh, it seems you made some new observations. Origin form. Origin formamin. So, what would you like to do now? Return to the village, because I am vastly in pain. Dialga and Palkia were evil. Were mean. No, let's see. No requests. No requests. No requests. Balloon man, but who cares? And no requests. All that's left is uh, those guys. Completed Pokedex entries. That's gonna hurt. But I guess we'll finish off by looking for Zeke in the wild uh, in the Icelands. Off we go to the Icelands. Snowfield Peak, because we have to look for the bastard using Ursaluna. I haven't ridden Ursaluna in a million years. I just realized. What's with the verses? The set the bones out to sea, dude. Okay, you're back alive. Good. Time to search out the idiot. Wrong. Because he could be anywhere in the ice caves. Just freaking anywhere. Hmm. I guess I could just look for people. Look for thought balloons. 
Or maybe just fly to a certain direction, part of the map. That was for a moment. It's just Dust Skull. That's a mega, uh, not mega, but Alpha Obama Snow. Turn blue. I wish that it would turn blue. Far more often. <laughs> They're not afraid of me. I like them. We just have to fly around five billion different places looking for the idiot. Hopefully it'll turn blue if we ever get near, like, the ice holes, if he's in an ice hole. But surely this would be, if he was, like, anywhere over here, this would be close enough. If not, this game is very cool. I'm just trying to think of where the hell he could be. Hopefully not on top of, uh... Snowpoint Temple. I, I, I kinda don't want to go through Snowpoint Temple again. <gasps> oh! Blue! Blue! We found the bastard! I think he's in the ice hole! Ice holy is. Maybe. Oh, there you are. I didn't see you there. Oh, you! C can you get Sneasler? Get me back up there! Ah, oh, shit. Bitchin'! Here it comes again! I already know where to find an alpha. Uh, whatever you're called, Glaley. I'll kill you. I kill you. Iron Tail. Oh, now you want to use it all the time. Oh, goodness me. Thank you for saving me from the complete and utter disaster. But that's no good. I still haven't found Wanda. You missed her. Did you save my brother, my trusty savior? Wait, you mean Wanda was fine all along? Oh, oh, good. Now I can pass out in relief. I'm sorry I made you worry. Never mind that. What were you thinking going to a place like the Icelands without telling me? Oh, well, the fact is, the fact is I came here for this. <gasps> Glaceon! I came here to find that stone so I could give it to my to you, my savior. I was told it was pretty rare. Oh wait, no, we already I already got a Glaceon. I needed uh, an Espeon stone. That's why I've kept this Eevee with me all this time, so I could try and level it up, but I keep forgetting to raise my friendship with it. Mm. I Pretty rare, so I thought maybe I could give it to you for your survey work. Ah, uh, don't give me that sad look, Zeke. Of course I got one for you, too. I really owe you both so much, my savior and the one always sending me, uh, sending her after me. I'm going to keep working hard to become a great security corps member to pay you two back for everything you've done for me. Come on, bro. Let's head back home. I've gotten really strong with all my adventures. I'm sure I can get you back to the village safe. 
I'm really glad that you think so, Wanda, but the village is that way. She's, she's gotten stronger, but you can be her sense of direction. I think Wanda's still going to need you to look after her for a little while yet. Or more like a while. A really long while. Hmm. But I guess it also makes sense that there are also like some Pokemon that I still need to evolve into existence. And then some Pokemon that are still in the frickin' distortion fields! RNG, my favorite! And no, that's not a lie. There are a lot of Pokemon that seem to be exclusive. Exclusive to Distortion Fields. At least they still seem to happen with the Time Rift gone. But, 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 but with that... I think that I will... That, that, that should be it for now. We got Giratina on the team. We got a lot of legendary Pokemon. I wish they had more, like, stories to them instead of just... Yes, these Pokemon exist. Go get them. But, eh, it was still cool to see them. And some took me some by surprise, like Heatoran. Nobody expects Heatoran. Because it's fucking Heatoran. <laughs> But yeah, there are a ton of Pokemon that I need to evolve, that I need to do things. I'll probably do a lot of uh, off-screen. Mechanical box. Sure. It's probably another Rotom box. God, you're a, you're a gatekeeper, aren't you? Well, luckily, I don't think uh, it's that big a deal because the goal of the game for Arceus is to meet all Pokemon. So even though to, like, finish up, like, Rotom's decks, you probably need to find five billion random event dealies and be like, yes, Rotom, take over it. So you can see a new form of it. So, yeah. I'll probably catch, like, Thunderous and Diddly D off-screen, off-stream, because there's, like, so many freaking things to do. And it's only these, from the looks of it. Depending on, like, what Pokemon to do. Ah, but about. But, yeah. We've basically reached the end, except for meeting Arceus himself. Which requires doing a decent amount of uh, looking for Pokemon I've yet to find. But yeah, I guess that I will dig out Pokemon that were very important to the journey to have around me for the end. Let's see if they should be here. Pokemon that were really important to the journey. Marianne, you were important to the journey. Spyro! Yeah, I think you were important enough. Valor. I guess out of everyone else, Risu. Here's the team. The team that made it all happen to a degree or another. And I shall go over my thoughts of Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
I freaking love this game. There are a few things, like the most major Cheerum bug, where daylight Cheerum is impossible to catch. But hey, that's what uh, evening Cheerum is for. Though it is kind of weird that they haven't fixed that yet with a, an update. <laughs> but, but I love this game. I think the gameplay is super good. The gameplay is great. I think that we haven't run into cu the Cursula. Huh. Yeah. There's a lot of things that we need to look for in my own time, but off of what I've experienced in 50 hours of this game, the gameplay is fantastic. I love the gameplay the gameplay loop. Going and just expanding where you can go, finding Pokemon. Oh yeah, there's Pokemon that can only appear in like rain and stuff. Oh god. <laughs> But the music is amazing. When the music pops, it pops. And it really hits good. It is fantastic. Some of the music is, honest to God, some of the best music I've heard in a video game. It's wonderful. The updates to the Pokemon formula, I think, are really cool. I think Agile and Strong is uh, an interesting mechanic to include. Like, mm, I'm not sure if it would work in a normal Pokemon game because uh, without the turn order thing, it doesn't really work as good. But you can't really put the turn order thing into a normal Pokemon game because the turn order thing is very broken. Sometimes Pokemon go twice without using an agile move when the thing said that it, they would only go once. Sometimes the game will be like, oh yes, these three evolutions, they each get to go twice in a row without you getting to go, despite the th thinking that you could go. And then... But yeah, the turn order thing needs a bit of work. I do like the agile, strong style format, though. I love the selection of Pokemon. Like, even though there's only about 200... And some, and some changed Pokemon in this game. I think they chose some fantastic Pokemon to put in here. They put in some fan favorites. Sneasel, my boy. Lucario, Lopunny, Zoroa, and Zorark. They put, they put in normal Sneasel and Weavile, and then a variant Sneasel and a new evolution. That's the thing I need to do. I need to get the evolution thing for Sneasler to be owned. I also need to grab an Ursarang to evolve into an, into an Ursaluna and like so many other things. But yeah, I love the fact that this game brings the game back to like the origins of Pokemon. The gotta collect them all. I like that the unknown are included even though there's no end. You just collect all the unknown and that's it. There, there doesn't seem to be anything else. In fact, I'm gonna look it up. Pokemon Legends Arceus Unknown. I want to see if the unknown have a purpose. No, it's just location, location, location. But yeah, I like that you can go find... Uh, Unknown. I like that you go gather the wisps to get Spiritum, and then Volo has another Spiritum. I I love the characters in this game because one thing that's really lacking with uh, normal Pokemon games is that you don't really get to know characters that much. Like you've seen in Pokemon Crystal is a better example than most other Pokemon characters. Like, Kurt and uh, the Poke... the Mr. Pokemon, Professor Oak. Even the rivals don't tend to really show up all that much. The only reason I remember Lance appearing a lot in Pokemon Crystal is because it was so novel. Like, oh, hey, Lance, I remember you. But... Yeah, characters in Pokemon games don't really appear a lot. But the characters in here, because you have a hub town that you return to all the time, 
is fantastic. I think Lumio City in X and Y was kind of a hub town, but I think Jubilee in Legends Arceus here did a much better job. I love that uh, how I loved how requests work. That if you found new Pokemon, uh, you could find, like, the, the the chalkboard requests. And as you go along and complete the story, new requests just open up. And that you bring people and Pokemon together. And then just little things. Just little things like that. A sense of permanence. A sense of progression. is just really nice. Really nice. Kind of wish there was more you could do with your Pokemon, like, out, maybe? Just, like, some interaction animation, but, eh, you know. They have 200-plus Pokemon in this game, and there's a decent amount of things they have to do with them. But... I also love, like, the move mechanics in this game, that you can have Pokemon learn a list of moves instead of having to f only have four, and that there is a punishment for putting out uh, a move to a Pokemon. It puts it at ten power points if it could go more. So if you put False Swipe on a Pokemon while you're out in the field, it goes from 30 power points to 10. So it kind of incentivizes you to work out your arrangement before going out into the field and kind of is meant to punish players for quick swapping moves between Pokemon, uh, but only a little bit. It's still viable if your Pokemon are strong enough or if you're going for super effective on decently strong Pokemon. But, yeah, and once again, I love that it brings it back to the gotta catch them all mindset. That there's a lower amount of Pokemon you have to worry about, there's unique Pokemon per area, and that you can just find all these Pokemon. It just, I really like it. I really like it. I like that the characters express and emote a lot more. I covered up my main character's face with the mask because I thought the mask was too damn cool. <laughs> In fact, let's see if there's a mystery gift. Mystery gift, mystery gift. Oh, mystery gift, do you? Huh. The mystery gift killed my game. Is there an update? Nope. All right. I hope I didn't lose all my save data. Luckily, auto save, hopefully. You know, I would almost respect it if after all that 50 hours in, I checked the mystery gift and it just wiped all my save data. I would find that hilarious. I would be distraught, but I would find it freaking hilarious too. Where were we? Where are you going to put me? Auto saves. All right, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Thank you, autosaves. And hey, Reggie Gigas is in the field. He stands there, menacingly. Yeah, and my team's got messed up, so I'm not gonna pull them out again. They were there. You could see them. But yeah, this game utterly fantastic. While other people complain about the graphics, I think they work. Not everything has to be super duper, oh my god. Like, the gra like, what's the point of graphics in a video game? Graphics in a video game at their base level are meant to gently upon the eyes convey the f game. That's all they're meant to do. No amount of polygons and textures will ever surpass just 
adequately presenting a game. Because it is still my firm belief that you could have the most realistic video game ever in the entire world and it would still fade out in the back of your mind and you would confuse Uncharted 1 for it at one point. Because that is the perfect example for me, or maybe I'm just an idiot, in which at one point in time, I saw a, uh, from a distance, from a distance, I saw Uncharted 4 in like a jungle area, and I thought it was Uncharted 1. If you need a frickin' microscope to really be like, oh yes, it is this game and not that game, you have inherently failed. <laughs> sure, you could tell, you do the same thing with maybe Pokemon Yellow and po Pokemon Crystal or something. It was just like, ah, oh, microscope. But it's just like, again, I don't really care about, ooh, polygons, ooh, textures. I just want something that looks good. And Pokemon Arceus looks good. The Pokemon are conveyed well at like, even the jagged anti-aliasing fades out after a while. Some of the anti-aliasing could have worked, uh, been worked better because some anti-aliasing shines a bright light in certain areas. And that could be a little distracting, but it's not game-breaking. And it's a minor footnote. Literally, I've only run into two bugs in the game. One is the one that everyone's run into, Daytime Cherim being a bastard, and then checking the... In fact, let's do it again! I pressed the wrong button. Let's do it again! Let's do it again! Let's see! Mystery gift! Will you crash my game? Nope. Nothing new. I don't even know why that happened. It could have been because I had the game on for so long again and again and again and again, because literally I haven't. For 50 hours, the game has been in standby mode. Well, uh, I've either been playing this game or it's been in standby mode in my Switch. So, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but yeah, this game is up there, honestly. Depending on how I'd rank the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, this is just below the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games that I've played. So, more than likely, this is my third favorite Pokemon game right now. It goes number three, Legends Arceus. Number two, Blue Rescue Team. Number one, Explorers of Sky. I just love secondary Pokemon games. Like, the Pokemon side games are amazing. And, like, I'm really happy. Like... This Sinnoh has got to be my favorite region purely because Pokemon Platinum was a great Pokemon game. It's like the la like the latest one that I played for my childhood. And then like Pokemon X and Y I played a little bit. It was like I kind of fell off the Pokemon bandwagon. I need and that's why the Pokemon Mania even exists right here. Me playing through a bunch of Pokemon games because I want to see and feel the change of Pokemon. And here this is kind of the reason why, because Pokemon Legends Arceus has so much going for it. It does so much. It's so good. The changes, the updates, its own unique spin, the unique goal of Legends Arceus compared to other Pokemon games being a spin-off, while still holding true to the core of Pokemon almost more than some mainline Pokemon games. But I don't know. I haven't played all of them. That's the point of the little Pokemon Mania. Whoa, whoa, whoa. At least until we get to... Sword and Shield, because I don't own them yet. But that's probably a far ways off. <laughs> but yes. Love Legends Arceus. Absolutely fantastic game. And I'm going to be playing it decently in my off time. Since Thunderous, Landorus, and stuff appear randomly in the overworld, apparently, I will just catch them in my own time, and because hunting them down would be a pain and kind of be boring, and uh, I'll just do a bunch of Pokédex stuff in my own time. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
Pokemon Legends Arceus, one of the best games I've played. I've only ran into a few frame drops. Otherwise, it's ran really damn good. Really good. And I beg, I beg the Pokemon Company, I beg Game Freak, I beg Nintendo, please make more Legend Pokemon Legends games. I would love a Pokemon Legends Johto that takes place when uh, with the main story revolving around the Burned Tower. I would love that. The game could start a bit before the Burned Tower, then the tower burns down, and then some of the story could be about finding, discovering, and catching the legendary beasts. And then, I don't know, maybe a Legends Kanto? I don't know. I'm not sure what a Legends Kanto would really be like, though, because there's not that many legendary Pokémon in Kanto. In fact, po Legends Arceus has more Pokémon than Legends Kanto would theoretically have. I would still think that an anime-based Pokémon game would be really cool. To some degree. Or like an anime-inspired Pokémon game. This is like, there's so many things you could do, and I want that. If they could capture the Pokemon anime as a game where you go on a Pokemon journey and it's like the anime to a degree, I would love that. <laughs> Basically, give me Pokemon Skyrim, but it's like Pokemon Legends, where I can go on a journey and do side quests for people. I would love it. I mean, you kind of do side quests for people in Pokemon as it is, but you know what I mean. More like this, wide open, because one of the things that kind of puts me off the 3DS Pokemon games is that there are so many invisible walls and it still kind of feels restricted. This is the first time that I've really played a Pokemon game and it really felt wide and open and free and I love it. Just give me more Pokemon Legends games. Because some people noted, the game isn't Pokemon colon Legends Arceus. It's Pokemon Legends colon Arceus. But yeah, DLC for this game, maybe. I don't know. I don't know if DLC would really work because the story really wrapped up. The story was, well, maybe. We still need to meet Arceus, but that takes grinding. <laughs> that takes grinding. <laughs> but yeah, this game is fantastic. I love it. It is great. I'll be playing it a lot more on my own time because we've done everything. I'm gonna have to grind for that damn Clefairy moon. The moon that never came. Uh. If only there was a base right next to the Clefairy place. Would have been perfect design. But yes, this game is fantastic. And I think that'll be it for now. I have been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been... Pokemon Legends Arceus. The relative ending to it. Volo went crazy. That was fun. But yes, if you want more from me, I have an edited content YouTube channel that I try to update at least once a blue million years. Uh huh, because life is cruel. And then I also have an archive channel where these streams are uploaded in video format, so for archival purposes, and so people can go and watch them in their own time. I'm at Neon Icy Games on YouTube. And if you're one of those people that are watching one of these archives on Neon Icy Games, you can watch me play these games live at Neon Icy Wings Twitch.tv. I usually try to go live around 5 to 6 Central Standard Time, and since I beat Legends Arceus, and Legends Arceus just really consumed my love of this game. I really love this game. Uh, I'll, I'll probably get back to actually going live around 5 to 6 p.m. <laughs> if you want to see me draw, and, well, more like post the, the, the fruits of my drawing, you can see me have, see my art at Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Buzzly.art. Uh, most of them are at Neon Icy Wings, except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. But yes, I've been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been Pokemon Legends Arceus, the relative end. And I hope to see you next time.
which might be finishing off Kingdom Hearts or resuming Age of Calamity. Or Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team because that is also a game that holds my heart. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.